is that moment again, the one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite, of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Le sacrifice que tu fais, quand toutes les chances sont contre toi, when you can't push one more second, chase the glory. Viseo. Sports on CBC, presented by the Championnat du Sport à Radio Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fender, Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Veraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Bearing, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des bagues des championnats U Sport. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile menton du volleyball. Le V 200 W, ballon officiel de U Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V 200 W, official volleyball of U Sports. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Athletics and Recreation Center on the campus of Queen's University. It is medal day at the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships presented by Macasa on CBC Sports. I'm Kyle Coppo, joined alongside by Alex Elliott. And Alex, two teams coming off of semifinal losses on Friday night. The Queen's Gales dropping a three sets to none decision against the top seed in the tournament, the Sherbrooke Bepayor, and the UBC Thunderbirds, who dropped a three sets to none decision against the familiar foe, the Alberta Golden Bears, a team that they saw in the Canada West of plenty and saw them in the Canada West semifinals as well. Uh, but again, it is the top two seeds in the tournament that will be playing for gold, but first, playing for bronze. The Queen's Gales, the host, uh, excited for the crowd to be here, taking on the UBC Thunderbirds, a team quite young and a lot of excitement to come in the near future, but an outstanding season for them. Um, so it should be an exciting matchup between two teams battling for a bronze medal here at the U Sports Championship. Yeah, two teams battling for a bronze medal. Anytime you get a chance to play for a medal, it's an exciting one. Um, and you get to end your year on a win. One team's going to walk away feeling great about their season. Obviously, uh, having both lost their semifinal, a lot of disappointment. But they had a day of rest, a day to turn around, a day to refocus, watch some video. And now they're back on the floor. Uh, Queens with this hometown crowd is going to look to have some energy and provide that to really build upon it. Uh, the Thunderbirds, they are a young team. Uh, most of their team is between first and third year, uh, so a lot of youth. And, and Queens has a couple guys like Lex and Rabbit, who could be his last game on this Queens floor, looking to finish out on top. You're watching the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships. Join us back for first serve on CBC Sports. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships.
They don't do it for the likes or for the shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Mark Hughes here, president of Canucks Stuff, and this is a short video. Overkill short. Get yours today at overkill.ca. Welcome back to the Athletics and Recreation Center as we introduce today's starting lineups and then the U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championship bronze medal match will commence. Looking through the starting lineup for the UBC Thunderbirds, Alex. Should be some familiar faces as we go down the roster. Should be Reeve Gingera on the right side. Gavin Mose, Connor Tobe on the left. Mason Greaves running the offense. Jesse Umoran in the middle alongside James Vincent. As we mentioned, a great season for the UBC Thunderbirds We're in the U Sports National Rankings for the majority of the season, if not the entirety of the season, as we get a look at the head to head between these two sides. 16 and 8 on the year for UBC, 15 and 5 for Queens. And going to again, continue to look down there and see some of the stats that maybe. Uh, contrast maybe stand out and maybe looking at the very bottom there Queens maybe generating a ton of service pressure 2.48 aces per set looking at UBC on the other side 1.38 so maybe we'll have a look at that as the sets in the game continue to unfold yeah and for UBC there's a couple key pieces you're going to look for one of them is Mason Greaves there uh, one of the best setters distributors of the ball in the entire country um, and then their big middle, James Vincent, he had an amazing game in the quarterfinal, was able to shut down one of the best outside hitters in the league on McMaster. So look to see them generating a lot of offense and a huge defense with that block up front. Chris Zimmerman running the offense for the Queens Gales as he comes out of the tunnel off the Gales bench. And it should be the mainstays of this Gales starting lineup that we've seen throughout the course of the season. And there is Reed Venning, who will be on the opposite the right side pin for the Queens Gales, Eric Sixna. And Zigwitzis on the left side, Dax Tompkins. And Isaac Zabjek out of the middle. And Lex and Rabbit, as Alex mentioned, the TMU transfer playing in his final game here at the Athletics and Recreation Center. And what a way to, you know, come in and play your last game in U Sport men's volleyball at, at home. Uh, being able to come out on top with a win to end your career would be something really special um, and something that uh, Queens fans across the country are all hoping for. And on UBC side, they're looking to spoil that. They're looking, they're a young squad. Um, they have a lot of talent on their side across the board. And as we mentioned earlier, Greaves really distributes the ball very well. So you're going to see a lot of different, different options involved in this offense. First serve will get underway here momentarily. Again, it is the 2024 U Sports. Men's Volleyball Championships presented by Mikasa on CBC Sports here at the Athletics and Recreation Center on the campus of Queen's University. And it'll be the gold medal match will be taking place at the culmination at this one. First serve is scheduled for 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it will be the Thunderbirds with the opening serve of this bronze medal match. And it'll be Mason Greaves back to serve here for UBC. Look serve upcoming from Greaves, and the first serve is into the tape. And that'll bring the Kills fans here on deck to their feet early in the service era. A little nerves early on. The heart rate is probably pounding a little bit more, a little bit higher to start the match. They'll settle in after a first few points here. First server for the Gales will be Isaac Zabjek. The spinner upcoming from him. Passed up as Greaves gets the pass in tight, set to the outside, roll over the top. Picked up by Litsis, but it's in tight to the net. Good scramble to get there as Zabjak. Forearm ball there from Venning, just going to get tipped over the top. Set back to the left side ball, straight off the yards. Good dig up again by Litsis, joust at the net, recycled. Six not going to get called on the nets. Couple swings on that left side from Reed Gingera. And the first point of the set for UBC goes thanks to a net call on Eric Sixna. 
Yeah, it was a little tight to the net there. He might have looked would rather have gone up and tried to attack that than try to set it to the outside. Either way, point goes to the Thunderbirds. Good pass up by Leitzis and receive into the middle to Tompkins. And Dax Tompkins cuts around James Vincent and finds the open floor at the back. 2-1 for Queens. Yeah, smart play by Zimmerman going to his middle early on. As we talk about a lot, teams try to establish that middle presence early so that that other middle on the other side has to stay at home and then they can release the set more of the outsides. Float served by Zimmerman, set to the right side. Gingera off the top of the block and out of play. As we get Reeve Gingera on his more familiar pin, that first rotation he was on the left side. This time back to the opposite, good swing off the block and into the stands and we're tied at two. on the service error by James Vincent. And it's interesting, right? We have uh, Sixna and Gingera following each other on the floor. Two of the best players on either side matched up one against the other on the right and left side. So we look to see a lot of volume going to those pins and having two of the best players in the country going back and forth. Sixna back to the service line here for Queens. Good serve, goes one to one. Set out of the pipe though, and a good pickup by Sixna able to get there. Is Litsis brings it back central, tossed over on the free ball. Pass by Gingera, Greaves out of the pipe. Good swing, and they find the back corner. Excellent job by Gavin Mose. Great job by Gavin Mose, and great set. You know, the back to back set happens sometimes when setters, you know, they see a good swing, good clean contact, and a free ball coming back. They usually go to that repeat set, and he did it right there to find the score. Great angle there of the attack out of the fight by Gavin Mose, able to find the back right corner just out of the reach. And the serve by Gingera gives one back. It's a service error into the net. And both these teams try to put a lot of pressure from the service line. We talked about it a lot with the Gales all year. With the aces per set they have, it's risk-reward serving. A lot of the times, UBC is going to be looking to do the same because they want to put pressure on the other team's passers and try to get them into high ball situations. Dax Tompkins with a serve. was short into the net once again. The service error from Queens. And the teams are tied after the first eight points. We're tied at four. Dawson Pratt coming in to serve here for UBC. Yeah, high toss, passed up in tight. Zimmerman into the middle, and the attacking error there by Zabjek. Goes out the back, trying to get that middle going again there, Alex, and trying to run it to Zabjek this time. Doesn't quite get enough of the ball to turn over as it sails out the back. UBC takes the lead. It's Pratt serving once again here. Passed up in tight by Rabbit, sets to the right side ball to Venning, gets recycled and scramble to get there in the overpass and swung back the other way by Mason Greaves. 6-4 UBC. As a setter, when you get a party ball and you take advantage of that, you don't get the chance to swing very often. What a swing by Greaves, get him fired up and into this match. The Pratt continuing to serve here for the Thunderbirds. Into the net. Pratt trying to come across the court. And Pratt did a great job coming in in their, in their semifinal, coming across the bat. Bit of a unique player as a passer left side. He's left-handed. So if he gets to the front court, Queens will have to watch and see how they're blocking to make sure they're getting out to that pin. Venning, the high toss. Great serve by Venning. It's an overpass. Passed up by Rabbit on the free ball. Out of the pipe, Sixna! Eric Sixna! Out of the pipe and the Gales respond. We're tied at six. And a great side out. Excuse me, good point earned after the serve by Venning. Led to an overpass by UBC and they stay in system. Great swing out of the back by Eric Sixna. Great swing on the back. Three blockers, as you saw just on the replay, coming in a little bit late and he found the gap between the middle and left side. A strong serve by Venning. Set to the sea ball to Gingera and it's blocked. Zabjek and Leitzis but the Facing off the net, you see the Gales arguing. I thought maybe it had dropped in as well here. But the official obviously in a great position to see it out. So we'll get a look at the replay here. And it certainly did fall down on the Gales side. Yeah, it came down right on his body. It was too, too high up, didn't close the net, didn't close the tape, and that's why it came down on their side of the floor. And it serves to go out the back. It'll get one right back to the Gales. Unable to capitalize was Jesse Umorin. So tight call that, again, 
from the vantage point of the benches and the fans can certainly see that that previous point may have gone on the UBC side of things, but on the replay we can see that it did drop in. Seven points apiece here. Leads us with a serve and gives one right back as teams trading service errors, and it's 8 7 Thunderbirds. Yeah, it just came out almost like a little bit of a sploder that time. You didn't get enough topspin on it, and it kind of floated and skipped right across the back. We're back to how we started. Mason Greaves to the service line now for UBC. Passed up by Sixna. Set back to Eric Sixna, high off the block. Rabbit takes first contact. Zimmerman back to Sixna again. Eric Sixna puts it away. Angles outside the block set up by Vincent. Hard cross for the winner. We're tied at eight. Really big swing there by Sixna. Going right by Vincent. 6'11", one of the biggest blockers in the country. One of the best blockers in the country. But he's able to carve it right inside of him and score just inside that position four. Zabjek back to serve now for Queens. And trying to find that back corner, but goes the width of the court. And the service errors mounting a little bit here in the opening set for both sides, but three or four for the Gales so far. Yeah, a lot of volleyball fans would be like, why are they missing so many serves? Just put it in. But both teams are so strong that if you just put in a lollipop, the other team's going to be able to get a three pass and usually score. Gavin Mose back to serve, and it's another one back the other way. Mose trying to find that baseline. But you're right, Alex. If it is a bit of a lighter serve. It gives an opportunity for the defense and the serve receive to get set and run their multiple offensive options. So creating service pressure going to be the narrative we'll continue to see here between these two sides. Zimmerman floats her back the other way. Pass to the left side off the hands are in the swing by Pratt. And the ball is going to set. Be a back row set. Back row attack from the Gales. And as we talked about earlier, number 14, Pratt, coming into the front court now, lefty left side. So the block we did a really good job adjusting on that first one, taking away space, shutting him down early, but then mishandling error after that ends the rally. James Vincent back to the service line now for UBC. Passed up in tight by Litsa, set into the middle to Tompkins, is able to wipe around the block. Set up by Jesse Umorin. Finds the sideline, good adjustment there by Tompkins. Sees where the block is set up and then just wipes it away from where hands yeah. are set up. The, the block was up early and high and often and he had no, not many options there. So it was really smart play by Tompkins going with the tip. And he's had a lot of success so far with that in this tournament. Eric Sixna, sir, finds the back line. And the ace goes to Eric Sixna. Much to the disagreement of UBC coach Mike Hawkins who's saying it was out by at least a couple of ball lengths. That one did, did look like though there. We'll see if we get a second look at it. It's a close one, you know. Sometimes bang bang plays, especially with the speed that Zixna is serving it. And Zixna again, back to back aces for Eric Zixna. As Logan Greaves and Reeve Gingera get crossed up a little bit there in serve receive. We get a second look at the latest serve by Sixna. So much pace coming across. It goes right at the seam between Reeves, Greaves and Gingera and it's 12-10 Queens. Yeah, you saw UBC try to bring uh, Gingera into the passing lane a little bit, take a little bit of space. Because sometimes when you have a big server up there, you're just trying to take away space, get a two pass to give yourself options. Um, a lot of the Queens Gales, they go, go for it full out. They have the green light to swing away from the service line. Um, Sixna did that back-to-back -back times right there. Uh, we'll see how UBC is going to adjust, see if they're just going to go three-man or are they going to bring in four-man a bit more and give Gingera a bit more court. It'll be interesting to see how they approach this next serve. So 12-10, the first timeout taken of the opening set from either side. It is from UBC. Team's doing a nice job in terms of limiting runs. It's been a pretty even back and forth here to start off the opening set of this national bronze medal match. As the teams head back onto the floor, see if they can settle the service momentum that has been built up now from Eric Sixna. Back-to-back -back aces from one of the top servers in the country, the leader in the country in terms of aces per set, around 0.84. Alex, you can see if you continue to build on that number here. He's had two in this opening set, trying to go for a third, this time just out the back. Just getting out of the way that time was Greaves. Yeah, smart time out there by UBC trying to slow things down and force six men into an error. So after the service error, Gingera will go back to serve now for the Thunderbirds. Trailing by one, it's 12-11 for Queens. Spinner up 
coming by Gingera. Passed up by Rabbit in tight. Good adjustment by Zimmerman. Off the block. Able to dig there was Lex and Rabbit, but unable to get to second ball was Sixna on a great block timing there by the Thunderbirds. Great top block timing there from the Thunderbirds. You can see them going with the full-on commit block that leaves one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and usually one-on-one -on, -one on the outside with a setter, usually that battle goes towards the hitter. That time, Greaves had a very solid block and shut the door. So Mason Greaves earns the block for UBC, and Gingera swings away. Good pickup, though, by Rabbit. High ball set to the outside. Swung away, good scoop. Picked up on second ball, and just going to get sent over on the free. Point's going to go to Queens. UBC called on the net. Yeah, Queens got really lucky there. Tompkins reacted too quickly. Zimmerman was right there to make that set, and he punched his hand out there. They got lucky that they were able to find uh, a mishandling error on the UBC side because they were almost just giving up a free ball. 13-12, the advantage with Tompkins back to the service line now for the Gales. Be a high toss by Dax Tompkins into the net. A couple of missed serves from Dax Tompkins to start the opening set here, and we're tied at 13. And back to serve will be Dawson Pratt for UBC. High toss by Pratt off the tape. Handled by Zabjek. Rabbit takes second ball. High ball set to the left side pin. Swung and is dug up by Greaves. Now to the sea ball. Gingera finds the back corner. Great job by the Thunderbirds to stay the course. Able to get it picked up on first ball by Greaves. And then a high ball set to the sea ball by Gingera. And goes cross court for the winner. Yeah. The dig by Greaves. The set then by his brother Greaves. And they were able to find the score. A bit late close by Zabjak. And that's why he was able to find the seam in between the blocks. Served by Pratt again. Six and able to take second ball and tipped over. UBC trying to respond in the swing out of the pipe by Pratt. And a lefty out of the pipe, out of the back row. Alex Good find on the set by Greaves, but great conversion by Pratt to swing away. And as we talked about earlier, Greaves loves to get everyone involved in the offense. He works the pipe, the sea ball, a couple sets to the middle. He's worked everything so far, and he's got his full team into this match. Pratt continuing the run. No, it's going to be short into the net this time, but a good run by UBC to retake the lead up 15 to 14. And now Venning will go back to the service line here now for the Gales. High toss by Reed Venning. Handled in sight by Greaves. Greaves to the outside, swung straight down. Great cross court attack by Gavin Mose. Just getting high up over top of the block. Alex comes cross court, paints it inside the attack line. Yeah, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and he carved it super sharp. You know, not many people can dig that. You'd have to have your guy in position four coming off the net in order to dig that because he hit it so sharp. Float serve carries a little bit. Zimmerman set to the sea ball to Benning, who adjusts. And then Reed Benning just swinging high off the hands. Bit of a missed timing in terms of the set to the approach, but able to adjust his Venning and just finds those hands and swings it out of play. Yeah, that set got a bit high off Zimmerman, but Venning did a great job adjusting. That's his first kill of the match. Look to see him get more involved as he was a big reason why they were able to win their quarterfinal match versus Trinity Western. And it's served there by Zig Leitzis. Goes at Pratt. That one maybe was going out the back. Looked like it had its way going out the back, but clips. Dawson Pratt on its way through, and we're tied at 16. Trying to lean back, get out of the way like the Matrix, but he wasn't able to dodge that one, just catches him in the chest. Leitzis to serve once again. It's a good one. Passed in tight by Pratt, adjust by Greaves, and they run the middle to James Vincent. And a good find that time by Greaves after the pass by Pratt on serve receive. Yeah, UBC's been passing really well when it's in play, um, leaving Greaves with all of his options that time. Easy set to the middle. As he was pushed over, they still were running a 51 out of the 31 position. An easy swing to one for the score. Handled on serve received by Sixna. They go back to Sixna, off the arms of Pratt into the stands. And a deep attack that time by Eric Sixna. Finds the platform of Pratt, who's got pulled away from the midline a bit and just off the forearms and up into the stands and out of play. Yeah, that's just too much pace, too much power. Uh, Sixna has proven that all year. He has a lot of power when he swings, and um, they weren't able to handle that, handle that one as it hit and went all the way out the back into the crowd. We're tied at 17 in the late stages of this opening set. Good run into the middle by Greaves this time. Finds been set. Greaves sort of 
getting that set to be forced into the middle and allow Vincent to stay on top of it. Great find on the second ball. Yeah, he was setting that all the way back from the attack line. Way, way to keep your middle involved on a 51 option. That's going to make it very difficult for Queen's blocks to read block and stay down if they're able to run 50s from the attack line. Gavin Bowles with a deep serve off the arms of Rabbit and into the stands. And the lead is now two. Gales with both timeouts. We'll see if Coach DeGroote uses one here, and he will. So talk things over a little bit here as the... Bit of a run back the other way from UBC, a three-point shift in the score. Gets us to a late set timeout taken by the Gales here, maybe just trying to settle down the energy from the service line here as we get a look at some of the highlights from this opening set. Yeah, it's been a very unique game so far. A, a lot of the steals have come off service aces. We haven't seen many teams steal off the, uh, the job on their block defense. A lot of it's come, you know, we've seen a lot of missed serves and we've seen a lot of aces so far. That's how teams have been, uh, been stealing so far. Um, we'll see as we get later into the stages of the, this match that teams, the block will get more involved as they start to learn the, the other side's offense. These teams have not seen each other this year before. All they've seen is video on each other. So it's a bit different seeing what you have on video and then how the team's going to change their strategy, change the way they play and seeing them in person. Look for both teams to adjust and get a bit more sharper and cleaner as this match progresses. 19-17 is the advantage for UBC coming out of the Gales timeout. Both teams still with a timeout in their back pocket as we still have a stretch left to go here to close out the opening set and see if those come into play. It's been a good service run by Gavin Mose for UBC. Deep serve receive anchored by Rabbit, Leitzis, and Sixta, and Reed Benning calling ins and outs. Mose takes a bit off and leaning forward, it drops in, and Mose. Able to disguise the swing there a little bit on his serve, Alex, and it takes quite a bit of pace off, but a great find inside in front of the serve receive. What a smart play. When the middle Tompkins is all the way over to the side, it leaves a gigantic hole in the middle of the floor, especially with how far back the receivers are on Queen's side. And he was able to find an easy spot back to back again for the ace. And Moes does it again. What a find. Again, the serve receiver is having to stay quite deep in terms of preparing for... Moe is to swing away, but able to take pace off on back-to-back. -back. We'll see if the serve receivers make a bit of an adjustment here for the Gales. You see Chris Zimmerman tucking in a little bit now, and this time trying to go for the trifecta with a bit of a roll serve again, but this time doesn't get nearly enough and it clips the blockers on their side of the net. You don't see that very often where it goes back to back to back to the same thing. Maybe they saw something within that rotation that they wanted to expose by pulling that uh, person in six out. Maybe they're trying to take the pipe away. Pass into the middle. And UBC able to find a way to side out right away after the missed serve. It's Greaves once again finding Vincent into the middle. We'll get a substitution here now. As Nick Johnson going to come in to serve here now for the Thunderbirds and replace Vincent. Which brings Jesse U. Morin back into the front row for UBC. A float serve upcoming by Johnson. Passed up by Rabbit. It's a good one. Zimmerman to the right side. Sixta! Puts the ball through the floor and the Gales are back within three. Yeah, no chance one-on-one -on, -one on the that right side swing there. Uh, the set was pushed over a little bit, and what an unbelievable find to flick it all the way back to the pin in a nice hard swing cross court. Sometimes when it's one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, you'll see that uh, player try to dive in, but he wasn't able to dive in fast enough, and Sixna was finding the floor. Sixna back to the service line again here for Queens, off arms and into the stands as Gavin Mose in position there, but can't keep the platform central, and the... Ace from Sixna goes into the stands, his third of this opening set, Alex. Third of the opening set. He's tripled, you know, his average on the year for aces per set. Usually a .8 per set. Three so far in this match. Unbelievable. See if he can get a fourth, and it's case the back end again. And Sixna, with his fourth ace of this opening set, forces the Thunderbirds into their second of two timeouts. They have a one-point lead. And maybe again trying to slow down this energy and this momentum built up here by Sixna. As you see UBC's receive just letting that one drop thinking it was going to go out the back. It was close once again but there to make the call and it's an ace for Queens. And they trail 22-21 as we get a look at our 
U Sports Men's Volleyball Championship bracket and taking place obviously at the moment is our bronze medal match between the Queens Gales and UBC Thunderbirds which sets up an all green and gold final Alex. The Alberta Golden Bears will take on the Sherbrooke Verteor. First serve is scheduled for 7 o'clock. We've had the opportunity to see all of these teams in action throughout the course of the weekend but Sherbrooke coming off a a semi-final victory against the Queen's Gales and Alberta taking down the UBC Thunderbirds should set up an outstanding gold medal match later this evening. And setting up an outstanding match, you know, on St. Patrick's Day, both teams in green are able to find a way to make it to the final. It's almost fitting for it to be on St. Patrick's Day. Coming out of the timeout, it is 22-21 in favor of UBC. Both timeouts burned by the Thunderbirds. Gale still with one remaining. And it's Sixna continuing the service run. Trying to tie this thing up and get his fifth ace of this opening set. Toss from Sixna, takes a bit of pace off and it's Sixna again with the ace, his fifth. And again, catching that serve receive on three straight serves where there was a lot of pace to it, Alex. And this one, similar to what we saw on the other side, by UBC, just taking advantage of that, that gap and that space in front of the server seat. Yeah, he's got everything right now. He's looking for him to probably rip this one because, you know, they're, they can't decide if it's going in or out, out the back or in front of him. He's going to try to pass up on receive. Greaves to the right side. Jinjera straight down the line. As Reeve Jinjera able to find a way to side out for the Thunderbirds to get a clean pass on a bit of a lighter serve again by Sixna on that time through. They set it to Jinjera, who swings down the line. And UBC retakes the lead. It's 23-22. Jinjera serves, finds the back line. And it's an ace by Reeve Jinjera. Set point, Thunderbirds. And the Gales are going to take their second time out here. Yeah, smart timeout in order to, you know, take a break, relax, reset after that ace there. He kind of just let it go. It was in by about a foot. Um, so look for them to just regroup on that one. They know what they have to do. They just need a good pass up, and then they have to find a way to steal if they want to come back in this set. So set points for the Thunderbirds. Been an outstanding opening set between these two sides. We mentioned UBC... Coming in is the Canada West bronze medalist in seeded sixth, a quarterfinal victory against the McMaster Marauders. Gales coming in is the OUA silver medalist and coming out with a five-set marathon thriller in the OU, or excuse me, the U Sports quarterfinal against the Trinity Western Spartans here on Thursday night. And then a tough three sets to none semifinal loss for both of these teams, setting the stage for this U Sports men's volleyball bronze medal showdown. Again, coming out of the second timeout taken by the Gales. It is set point UBC with Jinjera back to the service line. And with a two-point gap here, Alex, and seeing the success that teams have had from the service line here tonight, do you have a green light? Or maybe try to identify some location on the scene. you got green light to go swing away on the ball. At this stage in the match, you're just trying to steal one more and walk away with the first set victory. Serve from Jinjera into the net. So the service error and the timeout there taken, and we're going to get Ben Moffitt to come in and serve here now for Dax Tompkins. And at 24-23, Moffitt's come in in this juncture a handful of times throughout the tournament. And a tough float serve to try to navigate sometimes for the serve receivers. And it is another. Passed up, and it's really in tight to the net. Greaves adjusts, just going to get tipped over. First ball taken by Zimmerman. High ball set by Sixna to Litsis. Good dig though by Greaves. Greaves back to the right side ball. Jinjera out the back. Attacking error by Reeves Jinjera. UBC bench looking for the touch but not going to get it. As they run that ball to the right side to Jinjera. Trying to go cross court and just out the back. Yeah, front court hand. So there's not as many options as you normally would see for the UBC Thunderbirds. And a short serve this time by Moffitt. Maybe trying to find the gap and attack maybe the three meter line and receive. So that'll bring Tompkins back onto the floor as we'll send Pratt. Now back to the service line for UBC. And another set point opportunity for the Thunderbirds. 
here upcoming by Pratt. And it's out the side. You see Leipzig able to track and see the, the flight path of the serve. Alexson just carries a little bit from left to right and goes out the side of the court. Out the side of the court, and we are in extra points now in this first set. Reed Benning back to serve now for the Gales. Be a high toss, good timing by Venning off the tape. And it's picked up, and they're gonna say no. That one was close, Alex. I thought maybe Reeves had gotten underneath that one, and there's gonna be an argument coming here from EBC, but of course at the end of the play. Yeah, it's a tough, tough one there. The ref blew it dead. Greaves said and thought he got a hand on it to get it up. At the end of the day, the ref blew the whistle dead already, and point goes to the Gales for a match point. Off the tape again. Pass comes in tight. Greaves with the dump, and what a play by Mason Greaves, Alex. And pass comes a little bit tight to the tape, and with front hands, that opportunity. But what a juncture to do that and identify where the block scheme was set up for Queens. Just takes full advantage and just puts the, the ball down to the open floor. We're tied at 26. You've seen that two-hand uh, dump attack a lot more in volleyball these days. What a smart play by Greaves. Deep float serve again, though, this time by Hugh Morin. And it's another set point opportunity for Queens. And we've seen a lot of serves, stealing points for both sides, but serving error has certainly been a narrative that we can look at maybe in between sets as well and see what that number looks like. But certainly some misses on both sides. Here's an opportunity for Leitzis. He's had a great run from the service line. Off the tape, passed up by Pratt. Set to the left side, tipped over the top, they'll recycle. No left side option, gonna get up quickly. You saw maybe the Queens defensive scheme seeing what we saw, Alex, when there was a bit of a spill on that left side by Gavin Mose. Able to get up in time, gets the ball set right back and puts it away. Yeah, what a set. Go back to back, and you know, Zimmerman was cheating. He was following inside. Wasn't able to get that one, and you had no block. Off the tape this time, and it's set point for UBC. As the serving break goes the way of the Thunderbirds as Mason Greaves clips the tape. A diving Lexan Rabbit trying to make a play on the ball, but just a little bit too far in front, and it's now set point for the Thunderbirds. Mason Greaves. Passed up by Sixna. Zimmerman with a forearm set to the outside. Sixna adjusts. Good scoop, though, by Greaves. Second ball to Mose. Off the block. And off the hands and out of play in the opening set of the bronze medal match. Goes into extras, and the Thunderbirds take it 29. 27. What a fight by the Thunderbirds at the end there. They, uh, they a couple times there almost gave it away on the on the service line, but what a play at the end there, being able to force it off the side of the blocks and out. They gave a really good service pressure on that last point and it forced a high ball situation from Zixna. Really inside set and tipped it back, almost found the corner, but wasn't able to. And Thunderbirds walk away with this opening set. Thunderbirds take the opening set. They lead the match one set to none. Join us back for the second. You're watching the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball Championships presented by Macasa on CBC Sports. Mark Hees here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships. as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. 
We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. Parkies here, president of Canuck Scout, and this is a short video. Overkill short. Get yours today at overkill.ca. Welcome back to the Athletics and Recreation Center. The second set action here in the U Sports Men's Volleyball National Bronze Medal match. The Thunderbirds taking an outstanding opening set, 29-27. And looking at the stat sheet, Alex, we're kind of just talking a little bit about the efficiency for attacking in that opening set from UBC, hitting at 591. 591, a crazy high amount. You don't see that very often in volleyball. Um, 14 kills, only one error on the match, but they had 11 service errors. 11 is a lot, for, uh, especially for a bronze medal match. Passed up on the opening serve of the second set. And Gingera, who swings straight down the line for UBC. And the opening point of the second set goes to the Thunderbirds. Again, CBC Sports is the home for university sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game in the 2024 University Cup this evening. Puck drop at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific. And will feature the UNB Varsity Reds and the UQTR Patriots. Set to the sea ball to Benning. Straight down the line and a response the other way by Reed Benning. Right side ball to Gingera on the first point. Right side ball to Reed Benning on the second. And now be Zabjack back to serve now for the Gales. Kind of a staggered serve receive and set, maybe anticipating a clip off the tape. Greaves. Pass to the left side. Gingera rolls off the top of the block. Able to get there is Zabjack. Zimmerman pushed to the left side pin to Sixta. Off the block. Then set. Closes on that left side. Getting across with Gavin Mose. Huge close. That's a big block on that outside. And he and Sixna had nowhere to go. Look for these teams to settle in a lot more. In that first set, we had 29 aces or misses. Combined points, total sides. So look for both teams to settle in and watch for a lot more blocks as we get into the Pass. rest of the second set. Pass a good one on receive with the block there. Vincent closes the other side this time to Pratt. And you mentioned Vincent being one of the best blockers in the country, Alex. There's evidence why. And there was only one block on the stat sheet in that entire first set. And we've already seen two back-to-back -to, -back to open this second set. 3-1, the advantage in the early going of this second set. High toss by Mose, and it's a short serve. He's all the way into the stands. Had a bit of pace behind it going off the back of the head. Looks like there have been set. It looks like he's laughing and off. That's good to see that it didn't catch him too hard there. Let's see if they can respond quickly off this tough serve from Zimmerman. Float serve upcoming by Chris Zimmerman. Pass goes in tight. It's a good one by Greaves. Set to the right side ball. Cross off by Gingera. Takes a bit of a pace off on the swing as the block gets contact. Slows it down and adjusts sort of the flight path of the ball. And having to make the adjustment to get contact there was Lex and Rabbit. Just a bit too far in front. Yeah, what a good pass. Their offense is running on whole, all cylinders. So efficient right now from UBC. Been set back to serve. And he eats up. They receive a little bit of the Gales. Rolled over the top there by Venning. And they try to go to the tip into the middle. Gets flushed back by Tompkins. They try to find Umorin in the middle. Just out of his arm reach there. Does a bit of a swim move at the net, Alex. And can't quite get contact and just flushed back the other way by Tompkins. Yeah, that was the first set to you, Morin, so far this match. He was the only one who didn't get involved on the offense on the UBC side. So Greaves was trying to get him going early and get him into this second set and get him into this match. Six now. Back to serve now for the Gales. And it's shortened into the net this time. We talked about the serving pressure and the success from the line in that opening set by Six now in particular. That time it goes short and into the net, gives a free point back to UBC. Reem Gingera, back to serve now for the Thunderbirds. It's a good one, passed up though by six, and a second ball taken. Forearm ball to the outside, and a good set by Lexan Rabbit. Finds Zaglitz is coming across, and a 
sort of back to the pin, forearm set on second ball by Alex and Rabbit. It's high to the outside. What a set. That is so difficult to do. What an unbelievable set. From behind you, blind, all the way, perfect set to position four, and Leitzis finds an easy chisel off the outside hand for the score. Dax Tompkins back to try to pull the Gales level. And a short into the net. And a tough match so far from the service line by Tompkins. And has the capability of getting that back in a hurry, but he'll give way to Rabbit. As Pratt will go back to serve now for the Thunderbirds. Good pass up. It's a little tight, though, by Sixna. Zimmerman adjusts. Leitzis tips over the top. Scramble to get there. Jinjera into the middle. And a cut around the block by Umorin. Able to go cross to the tee. What transition by Umorin. He went full commit block with the middle there, then easily, quickly ran to the 51 in transition, and then Greaves to find him again. Awesome set by Greaves, and great swing by Umorin. Pratt from the service line, passed up in tight. Zimmerman to the right side, off the top of the block on the swing by Benning. They keep it alive with Moes. Zimmerman gets first ball, Sixna takes second ball, high ball to the outside, and Leitzis! Zig Leitzis with some spacing off the net, able to get on top of the ball and swings over top of the block. Yeah, great high, hard swing by Leitzis. As you can see it coming right up here. He swung full out and was able to find a way to get it just over that seam, high seam, into position six. Gales back within two, 7-5. The advantage here for the Thunderbirds. Benning, great serve. Pass in tight, though. Set the sea ball off the swing there by Gingera. And it's a three-point lead restored for UBC. Yeah, Lexan Rabbit was right there, ready for that hard-hitting ball. When it clipped the tape, it just dribbled down in front of him. They left him that line shot, and Rabbit was saying, I can strap this on, I'm going to take it. But he wasn't able to catch up after it hit the tape. And a deep float goes well out the back on the serve by Hugh Morin. So a service error again for UBC. As mentioned, Alex had 11 in that opening set. And now it's Zig Leitzitz. Back to the line to serve now for the Gales. It's a good one off the tape. Set back to the left side. Moe's cross court, no touch on the block. Point goes to the Gales. They're within what? Yeah, you can see the, the Thunderbirds bench there yelling because the net was moving. I'm not sure if it was when they came down and collected it on the way down or the way up. But you could see here, or maybe it was just early on the net was moving and that's why it was continued. But the UBC bench was yelling saying someone was on the net. Serve coming from Leitzis. You could see here, or maybe it was just early on the net was moving and that's why it was continued, but the UBC bench was yelling, saying someone was on the net. Serve coming from Leitzis, and it's out the back. The service error, good pace behind the ball and the serve that time by Zig Leitzis, but couldn't quite again get that ball to turn over and clip the back line. 9-7, the advantage now for the Thunderbirds. And it's the setter, Mason Greaves, back to serve. Pass comes in tight. Run the sea ball back to Venning off the top of the block. Able to get there, though, and the net called on UBC. Of a delayed call there, Alex, seeing if the net was maybe at contact there on the way down from the block. Yeah, and they kind of got lucky there. That set was pushed way back behind uh, the, that attack line. It was a sea ball set, but it was probably a foot and a half or two feet behind the line. Usually a right-side hitter likes to have lead, and so they can jive jump fully into their swing. Service from Zabjek and a great run out of the middle that time and what a set by Greaves to find Vincent. Kind of just shifted the shoulders there a little bit, Alex, and again, Greaves able to lead that ball inside and keep Vincent with the same approach. Yeah, and they were read blocking there because they thought it was so far off the net. Dax Thompson thought he could stay at home and didn't have to follow that middle. As a result, he had a good swing, clean swing, and a score. Moe's on the serve, set to the outside. Six now off the top of the block, but able to get there is Greaves. Second ball taken by Greaves to the outside. Gingera off the hands there of Leitzis. Thought maybe it had clipped the touch of the block, so made the attack to play the ball, but sort of coming that ball coming that fast, it's tough to make those split-second decisions. Yeah, I think I could see it from there. Just got a pinky or a, a, maybe a millimeter off the fingertips on that block, so it was a smart play to try to play it and get it up, but, you know, sometimes the pace is too much to handle in the backcourt. 11-8 is the advantage off the arms there. Is kept alive by six, and they're going to get sent over in the free ball by Venning. Greaves takes first ball. Now to Greaves to the pipe off the top of the block, able to get there as Rabbit. Zimmerman to the sea, Venning, and it's wide of the court. 
Gales continuing to get multiple offensive looks here and setting into different locations, but the point does go to UBC on the attacking error by Reed Benning. But that's a lot better that's better set by Zimmerman. You could see Benning had a lot of lead time and he was able to get a full hard swing on that ball, unlike a bit earlier when he kind of had to roll it off the top when UBC was on the net. That He had a lot of lead time and flew into that ball, but just wasn't able to find it, just missing down the line. Yeah, Benning trying to cut down the line, as you see there in a great angle from the baseline, seeing where the block scheme was set up and seeing that the line was given there. Defensive location in behind was there to maybe pick it up had he, had he been able to try to find the court. Uh, but Benning again opening up, trying to turn down the line with some pace, doesn't quite find the court, but great setup on the block scheme by the Thunderbirds. They force the Gales into taking a timeout, their first of the second set. UBC... Currently holding on to a four-point advantage. It's 12 to eight. But if you look at the scoreboard, right, uh, UBC so far, they have a lot of different hitters in, you know, three, four, five, six, seven points. On, on Queen's side right now, it's six to with nine, then everyone else at two or three. And that's just a uh, byproduct of UBC missing so many serves and just giving the ball away to, to the Gales. The Gales also, with Zix now, had a couple aces, but it hasn't really seemed like the Gales' offense has been flowing on full cylinders yet, and that's just because UBC has been popping out of bounds or in the net. We'll see if they clean that up, and, and then maybe some players on clean deciders are going to be able to get into the game a bit more, because it's a bit tough for the other team's missing serves, but as a result, you're staying fully in the game, because they're giving you points, point after point. Yeah, certainly we saw, again, 11 service errors in the opening set for UBC. They come away with a two-point set win, though. Mose with the serve. Zimmerman into the middle. Tompkins! with a full swing away from Dax Tompkins. He's able to side out, point goes to Queens. What a swing by Tompkins. That, with the setter being pulled back almost to the sideline, firing that 31 gives the other blocker so much time to get up, and Vincent so big, he pressed over. Tompkins found an easy way to swing to one, and what a swing. Serve comes in tight from Zimmerman. Good fix, though, by Greaves, and what a set by Greaves to get that one-headed ball to that left side pin. That's so difficult on Queens' side as a blocker, jumping up with that at that hands, trying to slow it down, and then he flicks that one-handed set all the way outside. Unbelievable set. And it'll be Vincent back to the service line, which brings Morin back into the front row for the Thunderbirds. And it's gonna go well out the side, almost into the Gales bench. As Vincent tries to go, kind of a five to five serve that time, Alex, but misses a little bit to the wide side, and. Gives a free point back to the Gales and Sixna to the service line. Eric Sixna trying to pull the Gales to within two. It's another good one off the arms there of Pratt. Greaves back to Pratt on the left side off the block. Able to get there is Rabbit. Zimmerman to the right side. Cut back across. No. Kind of losing his footing on the approach there and having to adjust to the set was Reed Benning and unable to find it across the tape. Yeah, that set to that right side. You can see it's a little off right now. It was too far past the sideline, and Benning wasn't able to get catch up to it as it was flying out the side. He just had to try to adjust and get it back in the court, which he wasn't able to do at that time. 14-10, the lead now for UBC with Jim Jera back to the service line. Passed up by Rabbit. It's in tight to the tape. Able to adjust. Trying to get there with Zimmerman, but pulled a little bit too far over. And as a back row setter, goes over top of the tape. Yeah, sometimes in those plays when it's on top of the tape, um, as a setter, he's either going to give up a party ball or he's going to be able to try to go up and play it. Probably the right decision to try to get there, but it was a little too far, and that's why uh, they call, the ref called the fault because he reached over onto the Thunderbird side. The lead is now five, back to four, after the service error by Jim Jera. And that'll bring Tompkins back to the line. And Zabjek into the front row. We'll see if... See if Tompkins can steal a couple from the service line here for the Gales. And it's a short serve into the net, 16-11. Yeah, sometimes it's just a tough toss, right? He tossed that ball, and, it, and when he was landing from his serve, he was still behind the baseline, right? He didn't get a good toss, and it tried to adjust, but as a result, misses his serve. We need to see a better serving pressure from both sides to try to get back in it. And it's an ace this time as he finds the sideline. Much to the disagreement of the Gales bench as that one came hard cross and able to clip the sideline on its way out. 
17-11 now for UBC. They're rolling here in the second set. Pratt, the serve this time into the net. And the serving errors to aces starting to level out a little bit here as UBC able to steal one but then give one right back. And now it's Reed Benning back to the line to serve for the Gales. Trailing by five. It's a high toss by Venning, and it's played up by Greaves, and able to scramble to get there is Mason Greaves, but can't get it sent over. But maybe there was enough time there for Gingera just to make a play to get it sent over, but obviously in the heat of the rally there, and maybe not expecting the location of that second ball, trying to get it sent over, but point goes to Queens. Yeah, just trying to make a fix, trying to put over a free ball, but wasn't able to that time. Venning gets underneath, and it's a serve into the net. Gives one back to the Thunderbirds who retake their five-point advantage. It's 18-13. Gale still with a timeout in tow. And Umorin back to the service line. He's had a couple of his float serves kind of skate on him a little bit. And it's looked as though it may have been gone again, but it's played up by Sixna. And a good job by Sixna to play that one up. Gets the ball out of the pipe this time and just a feather touch over top of the block and drops to the open floor. Gales back within four. Yeah, what a great set on the pipe ball right there. They had two blockers up, so it was a great decision to go with the tip. And it's so tough as a blocker when you're falling down, just having that ball fall off the top of your fingertips. Leads this into the net. And the Gales get a bit of momentum back. They steal a point or two. They're able to side out on the on the back row attack by Sixna. But then it's Leitzis with a service error goes into the net. Five points seems to be the spacing right now in favor of the Thunderbirds and a play by Zimmerman. They're gonna call him on the net. Yeah, he tried to do the same thing that Greaves did earlier. A lot of setters are doing that nowadays where they flush it with two hands because you're going up to set and you just turn it right down. But that time, he had both fingers on the top of the tape. Yeah, you can see the net moving at the tail end of that as the follow through that time by Zimmerman gets clipped on top of the tape and sets to the outside. Six in the rolls, able to keep it alive. He'll swing away again off the block. It's kind of skirts around the tape, the defense there to try to collapse underneath for UBC, but contact again on its way down to the floor kind of disrupts the flow of that. Yeah, great swing by Six now. On that second ball, swinging as hard as he can, taking off that big block of Vincent and blasting it through and able to find the floor. It's a good attack by Eric Six now. It's 20 to 15 now with Zabjak serving. And it's a service error from Isaac Zabjak. Goes out the side and it's a six point lead now for UBC. They're up 21 15. And they got a good lineup uh, does UBC out the front. They got three of their biggest weapons, biggest attackers. So they're going to look to try to stay in this rotation as long as they can. Off the tape, goes over the arms there of Rabbit and out to track it that time was Logan Greaves, but making sure that that one had gone the width of the court. Timeout taken by the Gales. They're trailing 22-15. And the Thunderbirds, Alex, with a seven point advantage here late in this second set cleaned up a little bit in terms of their own service errors and continuing on having a bit more separation in this set than they did in the opening set that went the distance 29-27 as we get a look at some of the second set highlights. Yeah, that was early on to start the match. The two big, big, big blocks. Queens was able to find sometimes to use that block and tool off the sides, but UBC has been very efficient on their scoring and attacking. As you can see, they get a lot of different players involved in their offense. And, you know, in the first set, the reason Queens was able to stay with it is, as we talked about, 11 service errors on, on UBC side, just gifting the ball away. We're looking at the scoreboard. Not much has changed in terms of point scoring for Queens' side. They need to find a way to get some better offense. You know, they need to pass the ball a bit better to keep three options in. You know, if they're passing towards the attack line more, it only gives the setter two options, right? We haven't seen much of uh, Leitzis or... Uh, the right side here so far and they need to get him involved they need to get their right side Benning more involved in this offense because when Benning got really involved in their quarterfinal that's what propelled them to victory and so Benning is sort of their key to success you need to see, get him involved more and slowly right now at 22-15 all you're trying to do is build momentum and look towards that third set coming out of the second of two timeouts for the Gales it's a good strong serve but leads us with a great pass Zimmerman into the middle off the block on the swing by Dax Tompkins 
and it's 22-16. Zimmerman back to the line, one of the best servers for the Gales. He brings the most pressure, it seems, and when they go on runs, it's because of Zimmerman's serve. Hard float serve by Zimmerman. Pass to the right side, rolled over by Jinjera, and reaching back is Sixna. Rabbit was scrambling to get over there, may have been in a position, had the ball been left for it to get played up, but sort of that instinct kicking in there for Sixna, just trying to reach back and keep it alive, but wires crossed a little bit, drops to the open floor. Wires crossed a little bit, but that was such a good shot. It was just behind that block. Usually Jinjera goes high and hard, but with mixing in the pace there, by going off speed, there's no chance for Queens' defense. Pass comes in tight by Rabbit, set into the middle. Tompkins off the top of the block. Reeves gets there, second ball taken across. Set back to the outside by Zimmerman off the top of the block. Set to the right side ball, Jinjera off the block. And the point goes to UBC. And it's now set point, Thunderbirds. Set point, Thunderbirds. They were able to just keep the rally alive and get it all the way back to Jinjera for that full swing. Nick Johnson coming in to serve now for UBC. Again, trying to close out this second set. Passed up, good one by Rabbits, head into the middle, and a swing by Dax Tompkins. Keeps the Gales afloat. Some spacing off the net on the block that time by Hugh Morin. It's good timing there, but again, Tompkins able to swing and has enough pace to have it drop down with a bit of spacing off the net on the block there by UBC. Yeah, he just didn't steal the tape on his way up. He was there early to be able to slow that down or block it but he had too much space between himself and the tape, and that's why it found the floor. Sexna, back to serve, it's a good one. And a lift call there by Hugh Morin. It's sort of, he chalked that up. Pseudo ace a little bit, so to speak, there. They call the lift, but that was a reaction there by Hugh Morin, just getting contact on it because of the pace off the first contact. 24-18, the lead now for UBC. Gales need to steal a few more here from the line. Serve passed up by Pratt, able to get there, can't keep it alive. And it's another good service run here and a timeout gonna be taken here by Coach Hawkins. As Eric Sixna continuing to score some points from the service line, Alex. Yeah, if, if, if Umora didn't lift that one ball, you could have seven on the stat seat so far. Sixna just ripping it from the service line. But this is what the Gales need to do to come back in this game. they got to build momentum. And it can't just be off Sixna's serve, right? They've had a lot of success with that. They've got a lot of aces. But they need to find other things in their offense to score. Other players need to step a little bit, step up a little bit from the service line because they're only scoring points with Sixna back there. When he's in the front court, they want someone else to score, put pressure on from the service line so they can get him the ball. That's going to be their key to success in coming back in this game. UBC is just going to try to keep playing the exact same game. They're playing pretty even keeled, spreading the offense out. You know, this timeout is more just to try to cool down a hot server than anything else. And then they're just going to look to get a two pass, you know, two pass and then set it to one of their outside hitters who found a lot of success so far, either swinging hard or chiseling off the top of the block with that, you know, trizzle off the side or a roll shot. So it's 24-19 in favor of UBC. Gales using the second of two timeouts. And it is Sixna back to the line to serve once again here for the Gales. It is a five point cushion that they need to make up here still. It's four dropped in and serve receive here for UBC. Takes a bit of pace off this time. Greaves set to the right side to Gingera. Out the back. As the Gale is able to seal, they get the triple on that right side pin. Based off of the location of where anticipating where that set was going to go, is Benning able to get over there in a hurry? And then just getting out of the way of that swing was Eric Sixna. Yeah, especially with how far the UBC Thunderbirds defense is set up or their serve receive. Sometimes serving really hard is going to take that left side out, and then you can change the way you block. Another strong serve by Sixna. It's into the stands. As Jinjera maybe thought that one was a little further over, but the run here from the Gales continues. And we're down 24-18, it's now 24-21. Just too much pace, just exploding into that serve. Let's see if he's gonna mix up something else. 
it, this is a substitution more so to try to, you know, instead of taking a timeout, you maybe make a substitution to ice the kicker, as they might say, and this time they're trying to ice the server. Kieran Robinson Dunning coming into the game here for UBC. And it's down off the tape, and it's on an overpass here. Set into the middle, Tompkins! But it's dug up though by Greaves to keep it alive. Pratt rolls over the top, able to get there. No left side ball though, they set right side to Venning. Off the hands and out! And the Gales run continues, Alex. As a heads up play by Lex and Rabbit, seeing that left side option was taken out of the play. Goes high to that right side and the run continues. They force UBC into another timeout, 24-22. 24-22, and all of a sudden, it's a two-point game. Unbelievable serving tonight from Six now. I don't know if I've ever seen someone serve with this much success ever, especially at a national championship. So the second of two timeouts taken now by UBC, trying to just settle things down here. Again, all they need is the one point to push here to close out this second set, but incredible fight and resolve here from the Gales to come down from four points in a row now. They were down 24-18, multiple set point opportunities for the Thunderbirds, but a couple points on the service line, a couple overpasses because of the service pressure from Sixna has led the Gales a couple of opportunities to stay in system and score some points. And then the latest coming off of the set from Lex and Rabbit to the right side to Venning off the block and out of play. Yeah, great swing by Venning there. You know. The Gales are going to look for the same thing, just get a lot of pressure from the service line and then rely on their defense, hoping that another two pass is coming and they're going to look to try to get three blocks on it to slow down this UBC offense. 24-22, coming out of the timeout. Sixna continuing an impressive run from the service line. We have another one in them. And again, Alex, we've seen after a couple of serves with a lot of pace here, maybe trying to catch a little bit of a roll serve here to maybe bring that serve receive forward a little bit. We'll see what Sixna does. Takes a bit of pace off! And Sixna pace off the serve, finds the gaps, and it's a one-point set. Really smart serve in two things. You're either taking out an option by forcing that right side to come in and play it, and then you load up your defense two men. Really smart play by Sixna deciding, you know, I'm going to take this player out of the play and change up the way we're blocking. They undo the substitution there to try to cool off Sixna again by slowing the game down. Sixna to serve once again, this time, and it's an overpass, and it's out of play, and the Gales come all the way back. We're tied at 24. An incredible run from the Gales. Six points in a row, six set points in a row for the UBC Thunderbirds, and the Gales are tied. Unbelievable. Can't believe how hard he's serving. And then the change up, the off speed. They don't know what's coming. Let's see what he's going to go to for this serve. Sixna again out the back. And the incredible service run by Sixna comes to an end with a pace serve that goes out the back. But an opportunity now here for the Gales to side out on the serve coming by Gingera and continue to push this one. We're into extra points for the second consecutive set. After it looked as though UBC would cruise to that second set victory. Gingera hearing the noise from the crowd. Passed up by Rabbit. Sixna takes second ball, high ball to the outside to Leitzis, tipped over the top. Gingera scrambles to get there. Breeze, left side ball, tipped off the block. Tompkins gets there. He's going to get kept alive there by Rabbit. Going to get sent over on the free by Sixna. Greaves, forearm set to the outside, wiped off the block, kept alive, swing through, and the Thunderbirds take the second set with a 26-24 win, and the Gales looking for the lift call. As we can see the replay coming in here, oh... That's a really difficult one for the Gales on that point. You know, it happens sometimes so quickly, bang, bang. Uh, as you see, Yumora try to reach down quickly and slap at it to get it up in the air. Um, at the end of the day, point goes to the Sun Thunderbirds, and it's a really tough break for the Gales. And a great timing on the block there by the, by the Gales. And again, drops underneath, and tough to make the call in that juncture, but also tough to leave that one, as it did sort of look like a lift coming through. But nonetheless... 
UBC able to come away with it. They take the second set, 26-24, and they lead the match two sets to none. Join us back for the third. You're watching the U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships on CBC Sports. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's new sports national championships. They don't do it for the likes or for the shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. hit goal and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline immersing you in the game like never before bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans we deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time proudly canadian we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage isi live be there Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. Welcome back to the Athletics and Recreation Center for the third set of the, OU, or excuse me, the U Sports Men's Volleyball Bronze Medal Match between the Queens Gales and UBC Thunderbirds. The Gales with an outstanding fight back to push it into extra points after being down 24-18. But the set ultimately goes 26-24 to UBC, and they're up two sets to none heading into the third, Alex. But also the U Sports Women's Volleyball action taking place this weekend as well. Yeah, CBC Sports is the home for University Sports. Catch the gold medal game tonight. Uh, the 2024 Youth Sports Women Volleyball Championships presented by Macasa. Sunday evening, 6 o'clock between Alberta and UBC. From opening serve until the awards of the championship, you can see all the action exclusively on CBC Gem and CBC Sports. Heading into the third set, Alex, an incredible fight back by the Gales. In a, we're in a position to maybe come back from 24-18 down to close out and when that set ultimately goes the way of the Thunderbirds. The first point of the third set goes to UBC. The attacking error by Venning didn't miss by much. Yeah, and Venning's really trying to find that line shot right now. It's probably a byproduct of having such a big middle and Vincent closing in on the block from that side. He had two up there, and he just tries to find the line and misses. The service error back the other way for UBC. As it goes well out the back, so. Gives the free point back to the Gales. And it'll bring Isaac Zabjak to the service line. It's a bit of a rotational shift again from the Gales. Pass comes in tight. Set to Greaves. No, set to the back row. And they get it across to Pratt. As Greaves able to set that pipe coming out from from Jocelyn Pratt. Yeah, really smart set. The only option there, you can see Zimmerman trying to dive in on inside, but as a lefty coming across and able to swing really hard back to five. Coming again by Mose off the top of the tape. Zimmerman sets to the left side, six now off the top of the block. A little scramble to get it alive. Gale's looking for the lift, not gonna get it. Set by Zimmerman to the left side, six now off the top of the block, able to keep it alive as Greaves. Greaves to the right side, Gingera, but it's blocked. Six now and Tompkins to the open floor and we're tied at two. You can see the UBC coach yelling. Uh, they said they thought they Queens was on the net, but you could also think maybe there could have been a lift call earlier as well, kind of going back and forth. The refs are just letting them play, which is what fans want to see. 
Tied at two through the first four points of this third set. UBC leading two sets to none. And the serve a little long out the back by Chris Zimmerman. And back to the line to serve here now is Vincent. A one point advantage here. Passed up by Lex and Rabbit. Sent into the middle to Tompkins. Wipes off the top of the block. Push to that left side. Ball in the swing of that left side by Pratt. Able to swing and cut around the outside of the block. 4-2 Thunderbirds. What a swing down that line. Coming across the body as a lefty. Being able to turn hard down that line. What a swing. So then set back to the service line again here for the Thunderbirds. It's a 4-2 advantage, but Vincent gives one back. It's a service error into the tape. Yeah, UBC was able to limit a bit of their serving errors last set. You know, only had five in that set, but early on a couple misses. Um, we'll look to see if they can continue to limit their errors and force Queens to play a bit more. Six now off the tape, passed up by Greaves to the left side to Pratt over top of the block again. And that push to the left side with a lefty swinging from that left pin, Alex. Able to have a bit of a different shot selection, different arsenal to work with instead of having that inside shoulder being the one attacking. And it's just unique. It's not, not something you're not used to. There's not many lefty uh, left sides out there, so it's just something you have to adjust to on the fly and make sure your body's in front of their left shoulder instead of the right. Off the arms there, trying to get across is Zimmerman, but unable to get there to bring it back in. And it's an ace for Reeve Gingera. And the lead up to three now for the Thunderbirds. Second look at the ace there by Reeve Gingera as Zimmerman have to kind of navigate around the base on that far side where the down official is set up. A little extra room to work with there, and the serve by Gingera, I think, still in the air. Just skipped it, floated out the back, didn't get any topspin on that. And sometimes when you don't get a topspin, when you're swinging as hard as you possibly can, it's going to find a way to float way out the back. 6-4, the advantage now for the Thunderbirds with Dax Tompkins to the service line. Trying to pull the gales within one. Good serve by Tompkins. Pass comes in tight, though. Off the hands there, recycled. Nobody there to cover and block. Point goes to Queens on the swing out of the middle by Jesse Umorin. Great block by Zabjak. You can see him going hits early as they try to fit in that 61. Zabjak read it all the way. Unreal block. 6-5, the advantage now with Tompkins serving again. Passed up by Greaves. Back to the right side to Gingera. Great sir, swing by Reeve Gingera. Sees the block set up, swings to the outside of it, and then finds a lane between five and six. Such a great swing. Coming out of the sea ball, being able to swing hard back door. They left him the line, and he was able to squeeze that in. Back door shot between six and five. Really tough to do. Great swing, great offense. It is Pratt serving again. Pass comes in tight. Zimmerman to the outside, off the top from the swing by Litsis. Six to Litsis for a second time through. Passed up by Pratt. Kept alive. Greaves, forearm ball inside. Rolled over the top by Moes, taken by Zimmerman. Forearm set to the left side pin off the top on the white there by Zig Leitzis. Sees the block set up, seeing where the hands were located, and just wipes it off the block, Alex, at 7-6. Wipes it off the block. All Greaves could do was just laugh as you could see him coming down going, oh, geez, I can't believe that just happened as he forced it. Usually when it's a Joe situation, setters find a way to win. That time he wasn't able to. Reed Venning serving again here for the Gales. Has to adjust there again the... Bit of a stutter step on the service approach that time by Venning. Maybe didn't like the toss. Had to make the adjustment, then maybe make up for it with some extra pace. That time doesn't turn either and goes out the back. It brings you more back to the line, which brings Vincent back up to the middle. And let's see how Queens is able to deal with that big block. You more it. Zimmerman gets to the second ball. Out to Leitzis off the top of the block and goes out the width of the court. So tooling off hands that time was Zig Leitzis, and that'll bring Leitzis back to the service line now, and Eric Sixna into the front row. Yeah, Leitzis was not afraid of the block of Vincent there, just hammering it hard off that inside hand and taking it back out of bounds. 
Leets this. Good pace on the serve. It's dug up though by Greaves. And then Mason Greaves gets over to Gingera on the roll shot back. And then just flushed in tight to the tape. Point's going to go to UBC. That one looked like it was maybe close to the center line of that tape. Alex with the referee sees the ball still on the UBC side in their jurisdiction to make contact on that ball. Yeah, I think they're arguing that the ball was coming over and he was reaching over the top and especially going with two hands, almost more of a dunk than anything else. Sometimes refs will blow that dead saying, calling it a lift as he flushed it down. Is that to the left side as Sixna able to adjust with the left hand midair. He just pushes it off the block and out of play. Gales back within one, it's 9-8. And that's, you know, four or five points in a row where we're seeing guys going up and sort of playing with the ball, playing with the block. Maybe the figure head trying to loosen it up so they can get back swinging later on. High toss by Zabjack off the tape. Toss comes in tight, good set into the middle, but it's pushed back the other way. Out of the reach there have been set. Off the block again, good scramble by the Thunderbirds. Right side ball this time to Mose. Passed up by Leitzis, set to the left side, Sixna. Rolls, finds the gap. It's going to be get played up, though. And talk and re recycled again by Mose. Greaves to the left side. Gingera off the top. Venning scrambles, but then goes off of Tompkins. And you see Zimmerman telling Sixna to come talk to the up official. Talking about with, with Greaves being backhands. I don't know what play he was exactly referring to, but he was talking about Greaves being in the backhand situation. Still trying to get discussion here as you're seeing Coach DeGroot and Coach Ellison frustrated with the lack of call on the backhands. That's a couple tough breaks that have gone the way of the Gales in the last set and a half. Or half a set. Off the tape, passed up by Leitzis. Sea ball set to Venning. Straight down the line, Reed Venning. And no doubt about that one, Alex, and a great swing by Venning, cuts down the line, it's 10-8. Great job by Venning, and he's sticking with it, saying, I want to hit that line shot. He made two misses earlier in this match, but that time had a full swing, one-on-one, -on -one, and able to find the floor. 10-9 the advantage, excuse me, for the Thunderbirds, and the serve by Zimmerman. Set to the left side, off the top of the block, picked up, though, by Leitzis. Zimmerman back to Venning again, rolls this time. Find some gaps in the defense with the Thunderbirds able to get there. Tipped it over by Pratt. Second ball taken by Leitzis. Finds Sixna on the left side pin. Sixna rolls down the line. Pass comes in tight. Greaves sets to the right side. Gingera finds the back line as Reeve Gingera stays on top of that one. Gets the block scheme moving a little bit. Does the set by Greaves. And Gingera able to swing away on a one-on-one. -on -one. Just a great rally on both sides. Game scrappy defense off tip and roll, you know, scrambles on both sides. And then what an unbelievable set. Just kind of went through the arms, though, of Zixna as he tried to reach out and take both the line and cross court away. Then set back to serve now for UBC. Deep serve, passed up, though, by Leitzis. Into the middle to Tompkins, and Dax Tompkins. Gets back involved again, sort of draws that shoulder all the way back, Alex, and able to get plenty of pace in behind it and finds a gap in the block. An impressive zap set there by Zimmerman. He was all the way back at the attack line. They run a 31, and usually when you run a 31, you're able to keep the middle involved more often because you can find them wherever you are on the floor. That time, he forces it to him and finds a way to score. Eric Sixna, back to serve now for Queens. Takes a bit of pace off. Logan Greaves comes inside. They set across to Pratt, able to scramble to get there is Leitzis, back to Leitzis on third ball, and Leitzis wide of the court on the attacking error, but a good turn there by Leitzis with the block set up to take away the cross. Trying to come down the line, but it goes wide of the court. Yeah, just swung and overcooked that one too hard. You know, they're giving him that line shot, and he tried to go with too much pace, and it went out the sideline. Two point the advantage now for UBC. They lead the match two sets to none, and Reeve Gingera back to the service line here for UBC. High toss off the tape, picked up by Rabbit on receive. Set into the middle, Tompkins with the left-handed flush. Queens within one. Good reach there by Tompkins to find a way to get his left hand onto it. It almost stuck in his hand maybe a little bit too long, but you know the refs are letting things go, letting teams play, um, and that's what we want to see as fans, be able to have more rallies and have more volleyball played. Dax Tompkins now to the service line. It's a one-point advantage for UBC. Passed up by Greaves. Mason Greaves to the left side by Pratt. Picked up by Sixna. 
Zimmerman to the right side. Venning comes cross. They sort of have that overload on the right side, Alex, for Zabjek coming in behind and then sets over top of the middle decoy and able to allow Venning to swing away and comes cross for the winner. Yeah, off that dig, Zabjek running the 61 and then the middle was late closing and had an easy free swing in that scene. So the team's tied at 12 now in the third set. And this one by Tompkins, well out the back. Unable to get that one to turn over, Alex. Yeah, I think Tompkins is just struggling on his toss right now. You can see a lot of the times he's either getting it way behind the line or that far too, too far in front and just trying to catch up to it. He's just struggling maybe with that tape job on his thumb now, trying to find a way to get the perfect toss on it, and it hasn't worked out well so far. Pratt, the serve for UBC. Zimmerman to the left side to Leitzis, and it's blocked. Great timing to close together there by Mason Greaves and Jesse Umorin, and they take that swing away from Zig Leitzis. Mason Graves might be the best setting, setting blocker we've seen so far. As a setter, usually blocking is one of the struggles, one of the struggling points as a setter, but he's been unbelievable so far tonight. Passed up in by Leitzis, set into the middle by Zabjak. And Isaac Zabjak with the ball leading towards the tape, able to make contact and a good cut around the block in response for Queens, and they're back within one. Yeah, and that put Zabjak finally on the board. They were able to force it to him, get him there, and he loves cutting it back and swinging to one. Great execution out of the middle by Isaac Zabjak. And it's now Venning to the line. And it's out the back. Good read on receive that time as, as Dawson Pratt calling the ins and outs. Stays well away from that one, and it's a service error from the Gales. And that brings Jesse Umorin back to the service line here for UBC. And James Vincent into the front row. Umorin with a float serve. Passed up by Leitzis. Seaball to Venning off the block. Recycled there and picked up by Rabbit to the left side. Leitzis again, attacking error. They're going to say contact. And the downside official there to see contact on the swing there by Queens. And the point goes to the Gales, they're within one. Yeah, it's really tough to see sometimes, but there's zero argument there for the Thunderbirds. They knew it got just barely off the top of their hands. Uh, great swing being able to chisel it off the top of the block. 15-14. Leeds is serving. This time it goes out the back again as Gingera there to ensure and tracks all the way to the baseline to ensure that the serve was going out the back. And it's 16-14. And Mason Greaves back to serve now for the Thunderbirds. And it's into the net. So the service error by the UBC setter gives the point back to Queens. They're within one, and it's Isaac Zapjack to the service line. High toss by Zapjack. Reeves set to the outside to Gingera off the top of the block and he tools it off and out of play. Takes a bit of pace off the swing that time just Gingera just locating where hands were set up Alex and just able to have it eat up inside the block and then spring out out of bounds. Yeah when sometimes when the block is fully solid and set the only option is to try to use it and tool it and that was a smart swing right off the setter's hand and out of bounds. This time it's served into the net by Gavin Mose. Keeping the cushion around one to two points back and forth between these two teams. It's staying at a single right now. Chris Zimmerman to the service line. And Venning back into the front row with Zabjek and Sixna. Off the tape, it's in tight to the net. Greaves has to adjust, set to the right side. And another smart heads up play by Reeve Gingera. The set was a little bit in tight to the tape and just seeing the hand set up there by Sixna. Presses off the hands again and out of play. It was a fast set, too. They run that right side ball pretty quick sometimes. Sixna read it all the way as he was up early, and the only shot that Gingera had was to force it out of bounds, and he used that block. Really smart play by UBC header. Nick Johnson back to serve in here for UBC. They try to close this one out and claim the national bronze medal, but they lead two sets to none, but they cannot get some separation here is the Gales back to within a single point on the service error by the serving sub. Six now. 
Back into serve now for the Gales. They trail by one. Two sets to none is the lead for UBC. Great serve by six though, and it's a good dig though by Greaves. Set to the left side, and the block set up. Tompkins and Reed Benning. Gales back on level terms. We're tied at 18. And a timeout taken here by the Thunderbirds. Trying to talk things over here and maybe again stall some of that momentum and maybe identify some tactical adjustments they can make on their side or maybe see what's happening on the other side for the Gales. I think they just want to slow down Sixna again. You know, he had a great serving run to end the set. Almost at the same point, he brought them back from 18 all the way up to 24 by serving tough, serving challenging balls. They got to talk a little bit about how they want to set up that four-man receive in the backcourt and how are they going to find their way out of it. You know, they're probably thinking, if I get a two-pass, my likely option's going here. If it's a three-pass, I have everything in the arsenal. But, you know, we haven't seen much three-passes off six in the serves. He's going so tough, and he's usually taking out an option. He's really smart from the service line. That if I'm not swinging full out, I'm going to look to see where they are. Okay, maybe the right side is pinched in, and he's helping out. Okay, I'm going to serve it short to him, which takes him out. Then our block is able to move over and shift and put three men on either the middle or outside header. 20, excuse me, 18-18 is the score line right now between these two sides. Late stages of the third set, and it is UBC with a two sets to none lead. And the Gales trying to extend the match and close out this third set. And with Eric Sixna on the line, it has the front court attacking options for the Gales, including Zimmerman, Tompkins, and Zig Litsis. Serve passed up though by Greaves. Set to the right side to Gingera. No touch on the block, it's an attacking error. Reeve Gingera trying to find those hands, becomes a little bit too sharp cross. Misses the sideline. Gales in the lead off 19-18. Yeah, just try to go too fine with it by hitting it hard cross court. Um, you know, missed by quite a bit off that sideline. You know, let's see what Greaves is going to do and who, who's number one option is going to be off the, after this pass. Sexna. Back to serve now for the Gales once again. And Sixna with the ace in the serving clinic here today from Eric Sixna continues, Alex. Approaching double digits, it sounds like, in the service aces. The official number, but that's going to be another timeout taken by UBC. And just a strong serving performance from the Gales number four. That is his ninth service age of the match. I'm not sure if I've ever seen anyone get to double digits. What an unbelievable serve. And it's just because he has all the options, as we were just talking about. He's come with pace, he's come with rolls, and he's picking out targets of where he wants to serve. And when someone's back there with that type of confidence, you know, and able to swing away and know that he's doing something and taking out a different option every time, it's really difficult to stop. And that's why, you know, we've, this is the fourth timeout we've seen while six is serving so far this match. And that's just because someone, he's fully engaged in this game and swinging as hard as he possibly can from that service line or changing it up and getting an ace as well from the, from the service line. I was going to mention that piece, Alex, we've talked about again, Sixna changing a bit of pace in terms of the serve and being able to do a bit of a roll instead of a full swing through. Does that change a little bit now that the Gales are up by two points and sort of trying to claw their way back? Is it still identification of the receive or continue to serve with pace? I think you just look at the options and the way the, the passing receive is set up on the other side. You also would have talked about in the timeout what you're trying to do. Um, when you look at the other side of the floor, you know, the right side player is, is stepping into pass. So if we want to serve him, it's going to take him out as an option, as we talked about last time out, and be able to have them force it to middle pipe and left side. And then your left side is able to pinch all the way over and get three blocks on everything. Queens up 20 to 18 with Sixna continuing to serve. Eric Sixna off the tape. Now he gets picked up. Swing by Gingera, and the Thunderbirds find a way to side out. It looked like they had just caught underneath on that receive, Alex, to keep it up off the floor. I think live it did look like it was scooped. We'll have a look at the replay here off the tape. But a good job by Gingera to stay on top of the ball and able to get a full swing away. And now it's Gingera to serve. Passed up by Letis. It's tight. Zimmerman into the middle. Tompkins able to squeak it through. And the Gales back up by two. And now we'll get... A serving sub coming in, it'll be Ben Moffat to serve for Tompkins and bring Zabjak back into the front row. Yeah, 
Great swing there on two blocks. Able to find the hole just on the inside of the arms. It's happened a couple times so far tonight to the U Moore. He's got to do a better job as we get oh, later on in this match, being able to seal that tape. Moffitt off the arms there of Mose to the left side ball off the top of the block. Able to get there as Leitzis. Zimmerman, right side, Venning, straight down. Reed Venning from the right side pin. The Gales are up 22 19. The substitution now upcoming as Connor Tobe going to come into the game for Dawson Pratt. We've seen those two sort of exchanging throughout the course of the tournament, Alex. Was Pratt getting the bulk of the time so far and maybe just a bit of a different look on receive here to bring Connor Tobe onto the floor. Moffitt, will he go right at Tobe? And he does. Good pass, though. Out of the pipe, though. Good cut. Good cut. Can they keep it alive? They do. With Lietze sent back over by Sixna. Trying to put that one away was Greaves. Set back to the left side, off the top by Tobe. And welcome to the bronze medal match, Connor Tobe. That set to the left side. You saw Greaves maybe going up to try to put that flush away early, Alex. Able to stay with the course of the rally and set to the left side. Well, typically as a setter, especially in the front court, when you're giving them a free ball, you try to take the setter out. So a lot of the times you'll see teams try to flip that just over the tape to make the setter take first ball. He was ready for that. So if they tried to flip it over, it would have been a party ball for him. 20 is the lead off the tape. Able to scramble to get there is Zabjack. Zimmerman, left side ball, leads this, tips over. Gingera, Greaves, left side. Picked up out of the back row by six. Then will he get it back? No, they go to Venning. Off the body there of Gingera. Back in by Greaves. Stays on top is Mose. Zimmerman, Venning, cross court off the top of the block. Gingera gets there. Greaves, back to Gingera. Off the arms, they're going to say it hit the floor. As six now was able to see it coming outside the shadow of the block but hits the floor before he can get contact on the ball. Yeah, they, they, they're taking too much cross court. As you look here he has, oh no, it's just in the seam. That's what it was. So, got to do a better job on the block coming across so there's no seam. zabjack has got to close that. There's too big of a hole and that's why it was all the way back into the court in six. Timeout taken by the Gales. It is their second of this third set. 22-21 their first time out of the second set leading 22-21 and maybe trying to settle the run back the other way it's been three points in a row for UBC to close the gap to back within one yeah you're just taking a time out to settle things down talk a bit about your options you know it'd be nice maybe to get a, a pipe ball and they're sometimes in transition Dixon is always approaching he's always ready they haven't ran it very often so far this match and it's one of the most dangerous plays in men's volleyball it's when you work in that pipe I don't think you know UBC would see that coming at this point, but you need to have good passing in order to run that ball. So it is the late stages of the third set. Trinity, excuse me, UBC taking the first two sets, both in extra points, Alex. These two separated by just four points in terms of their plus minus. And it is UBC who have taken the first two, 29-27 and 26-24. It is the Gales leading 22-21. And you got Zimmerman in the backcourt here. So he's got all three options here with Benning, Zabjak, and Leitzis on the outside. So he has a lot of things in his arsenal. But it all starts on having a good pass. Let's see if the Gales are able to do that at this point. Or if UBC will put in too much pressure. Connor Tobe back to the service line. Out of the timeout. Tobe passed up by Rabbit. Zimmerman gets there. High ball set to Leitzis off the block. And Zig Leitzis. Converts on the side out for the Gales. They're back up two and now have two points to push. to try to close out this third set and push it into a fourth. Reed Venning. Back to serve now for the Gales. Four dropped in to receive. Gingera calling ins and outs. It's a good one. But able to get there and sent back over in the free ball. Good job by Greaves to get over. Zimmerman to the right side ball. Leitzis off the top of the block. Greaves to the left side ball off the top. It's going to go out of play. Leitzis maybe getting caught underneath the net. Hopefully he's okay, Alex. Yeah, I think he came down, just rolled the ankle a little bit as he came down. Maybe landed on Zabjak as the trainers are going to come out. Take a quick look. Hopefully he's able to get back into the set. And the set to the left side and the conversion there was Gavin Mose as Leitzis is up onto his feet and trying to walk it off a little bit here and see if he's still good to go to finish off this set looks to be okay gives a 
a thumbs up and a head, a head nod to Coach DeGroote and the training staff. As you saw there, he just came down on his own middle blocker. His right foot came down as the middle blocker was trying to close. That's sometimes what happens when middles come all the way over and try to close. The feet come sometimes get tangled up. Usually it's okay as he looks to, for the substitution and he's coming off right now. So now Litsis will maybe come. To, he's going to come to the bench and that'll bring Nick Mitrovic onto the floor. We saw Mitrovic come in into the semifinal against Sherbrooke. It is 23-22. Is the advantage here, though, for the Gales? Passed up by Sixna. To the left side, Mitrovic off the top of the block. Greaves to the left side, to, off the swing from Moes. Was high off hands, does Gavin Moes, and we're tied at 23. Yeah, it was smart play by Six now. They are coming over and stealing that ball, taking that first pass, and a really smart timeout right now. I think what they're trying to do is get a nice, quick, quick tape job on Leitz's ankle so that he can come right back in the game by taking timeout. You might be able to give yourself more time to get him back in this match, but if not, you got to live with Mitrovic right now on the floor. He came in and did great yesterday. He's been in this position a lot of times before, and you know. It, UBC is going to be targeting him from the service line coming in at this stage in the game. So, you know, look for that passing uh, backcourt on the Gale side to maybe shift over a little bit so he can take more. Lex and Rabbit will probably take more floor. Six now will play, take more floor um, so that they can take away the space and give um, Mitrovic an easy passing lane. So it was 22-18 was the advantage for the Gales here late in the third set. It's been a run back the other way for UBC. As they've gone on a 5-1 run to tie this thing up at 23 points apiece. Very similar to what we saw in the second set. Gales were down 24-18 and clawed their way back. As again, you see Leitzis trying to get a quick tape job and get some athletic therapy done via the timeout. And now going to likely come back onto the floor, it looks like, Alex, at 23 points apiece. Yeah, as we were saying, there, there's a smart timeout. He was really trying to... to um, give them time to get that ankle taped and that's you know a smart decision by the trainers to tape up the ankle even if you tweak it a little bit and it's really great to see Litsis is looking healthy coming back onto the floor and Litsis is indeed back onto the floor here and is in the front court in terms of attack location or rotation on the floor right now and they go at Litsis able to get there on first ball Set to the outside, leads us with a swing off the top of the block. They're going to say contact, and the point goes to Queens. And it's set point for the Gales, and it's leads us off the trainer's table into the front row and swings high off hands. Set point, Gales. Unbelievable play by Leitzis to come in in this stage of the game, make a dime pass, get up there and swing off the top of the block. Awesome play by Leitzis. And now an opportunity for Leitzis when he serves into the net. And for the third consecutive set, Alex, we are going to extra points. And these two sides competing for the national bronze medal, separated, separated by the thinnest of margins, and the absolute minimum so far in these sets. Serve passed up by Rabbit, comes in tight, set to the left side, Sixna! Eric Sixna from the left side goes cross court. And it's another set point opportunity here for the Gales. And they set Eric six though. He's got 19 points on the night here, Alex. And just a great find by Eric Sixna. Great find, great set by Zimmerman, getting your best player involved at the last stages of this set. Sabjack off the arms there of Greaves. Forearm set by Tobe, goes over to Gingera. Free ball opportunity, can the Gales take the set? Out to Eric Sixna, down the line. Gingera takes second ball, it's in tight. Tipped over the top, passed up by Vetting. Having to adjust there is Zimmerman. They keep it alive on the joust. Swing away, Gingera, but it's picked up by Zabjak. Middle dig. Forearm set to the outside. Six, nah! Out the back. And the theatrics not meant to be on that point, Alex. As the Eric Six to the attack just out the back. And it's 25 apiece. Just inches out the back. What a play by Zabjak. Strapping that dig on giving themselves a chance to swing and take the set, but now we're all tied up in extra points. Gavin Mose back to serve now for UBC into the net. As the art crowd on their feet 
trying to push the Gales into the fourth. And it's 26-25, and Chris Zimmerman back to the line. Three attacking options in the front row. Zig leads this out of the pipe, and it's been a tough float serve for all receivers to try to deal with throughout this tournament from Zimmerman. It's a short ball off the arms. Kept alive by Greaves and sent over on the free ball. Tompkins passes. Zimmerman to the outside. Sixna off the block. Kept alive by Greaves. Greaves back to the right side, but Gingera was down. Able to get up and send it over on the free ball. Set to the middle. Tompkins tips over the top. It's picked up and kept alive and tight to the tape. Sent over by Venning. What an outstanding end to this third set. Off the block! And we're going for 27. 25. The Gales take it. And an unbelievable bronze medal match between these two sides, Alex. The Gales fight through, close out the third. They take it 27-25. Way to stay the course on the Gale side. Fighting, fighting, fighting for every fourth there. UBC scrappy defense, pancakes, digging everything. But at the end of the day, they slam the door with a block. And now we head to a fourth set. Outstanding volleyball on both sides of the net here between the UBC Thunderbirds and the Queens Gales. UBC up two sets to one. Join us back for the fourth. You're watching the 2024 U-Sports Men's Volleyball National Championship Bronze Medal Match presented by Macasa on CBC Sports. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships. for the likes or for the shares they do it for the fun of it for the thrill for the camaraderie for the memories cbc sports just because they love it hey you sports fans check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the nike team collection visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection nike team the Athletics and Recreation Center on the campus of Queen's University. You're joining us for the 2024 U-Sports Men's Volleyball Championships and it is medal round day and the bronze medal match between the UBC Thunderbirds and Queen's Gales has been an absolute thriller. First two sets go in the way of UBC by again that plus four margin both in extra points 29-27 in the first 26-24 in the second and the Gales respond the other way 27-25 and a great third set Alex as this one's going into the fourth with the Gales trying to push and push this into a fifth and deciding set. All I can say at the end there is Zig leads this. Wow. From the table onto the floor finding a way to score and that almost seemed like a rallying cry for their team to push them into victory. They're going to look to look forward in this set. You know, it's a tough when you roll your ankle a little bit like that, but the trainers were able to get them back quickly on the floor, and they're all going to rally together to find a way if they can push to get into this fifth set. Looking at the numbers here, though, as we're talking through, a lot of service errors in this match so far. Uh, UBC has 23 service errors on the match. The Gales aren't too far behind with 20, so there's been a lot of serving errors, a lot of service agents, a lot of service pressure. 
Zieglitsis will start off the fourth set. A long float serve, and it's passed up in tight, having to adjust his greaves, able to get caught up in the tape a little bit. Works to the Gales' benefit, off the block by Zajac. And the Gales take the opening point. Greaves comes in tight for the dump there, Alex, and kind of flushes, gets eaten up on the tape. Maybe gone off the Gales' block a little bit as well, but able to pick it up underneath and stay the course. That point was all Zabjek. He got beat earlier on that same dump play. I think he got a little bit of a piece on it and tipped it up in the air. And smart play by Zimmerman of giving it back to his middle to find a way to score. Off the tape on the serve by Litsis into the middle. Good pick up by the Gales. They're able to scramble to keep it alive. Opportunity in the middle, though, and the Thunderbirds put it away. Great set selection by Greaves to go to Vincent after a bit of a scramble by the Gales, and they run the middle, and that sort of pseudo free ball opportunity on that last contact over by the Gales. It didn't have a ton of pace. Greaves seems, Greaves seems to like the double set. You know, if I'm a Queens blocker, I'm probably looking at that and then leaning towards that if we are able to find a way to dig the ball. Overpass by Rabbit, just going to get flushed back out of the middle by Moes. Able to anticipate and get the timing down with that ball coming off the platform there of Rabbit. Just put back away there by Mose out of the middle, who cut in from a spot on the left side pin. 2-1 the lead now for UBC. Float serve off the arms there of Rabbit. Six now able to scramble to get there to keep it alive. Zabjack throws it over on the free ball. Set into the right side this time, and it's blocked. Zabjack closes over, and six now angles to the open floor. We're tied at two. Great play by Six now. He almost was able, that ball where he was scrambling to get it back in play was almost a great set, but he was able to close the ball out, getting all the way to the side on the late close from Jabjack, but he wasn't able to find the floor. Great block by Six now. Isaac Zabjack back to serve now for the Gales. Pass comes in tight, set to the middle again. Vincent gets picked up by Zabjack. Having to scramble a bit on the reaction touch there from Chris Zimmerman. Can't keep it central and a bit of a scramble by Zabjak to try to get third ball over, but give him the middle dig. A little bit of a ping pong they play there. You know, it hit off uh, Zabjak not expecting it. Zimmerman wasn't expecting him to come over, but they weren't able to find a way to scramble it back to the other side. Off pace ball there on the serve by Moe. Set to the left side, six now off the top of the block. And into the stands and the attack there by Eric Sixna tools out of play. And we're tied at three. 20th point of the match for Sixna. Just a heavy arm swing taken off the top of the block of Vincent. Vincent so high and hard and gets pressed so far over the net, but by taking it off the top, there's sometimes nothing you can do as a defense. Served by Zimmerman, set into the middle again. Good scramble to get there by Rabbit, and then rolled down the line by Sixna. Good scrambled defensively by Moes. Get across by Pratt, it's tipped back over. And Dax Tompkins shuts the door and puts it back where it came from. Dax Thompson kind of hung there a little bit. He was almost like he was maybe either late getting over or he was, you know, made a smart play by staying with it, seeing the tip coming, jumped late, was able to hang and force it back onto the floor. Chris Zimmerman back to serve here now for the Gales. Pass comes in tight. It's a nice one by the receive of the Thunderbird. Zimmerman back to the left side. Six now. Good scoop though by Greaves. What a dig. And it's kept alive, no. It's gonna be a lift call by UBC, but what a great dig by Logan Greaves. Logan Greaves strapping that hard swing on. Great dig, but then they weren't able to get the dig again in the cover and they called a quick lift call. I think some of the times, you know, when it's happening that fast, the refs miss it. That time he saw it right away and was able to blow the whistle. They call the lift on Pratt. So the lead is now two for the Gales. Back to one on the service error by Chris Zimmerman. It's a good run by Zimmerman. Usually they go on runs with him back at the service line. He puts a lot of pressure in with a hard float serve that comes right across the top of the tape. But that time he just nips, nips the top of it. James Vincent back to the service line to try to pull UBC level. Passed up there by Rabbit. High ball to the outside as Venning comes inside and swing goes cross court. But it's just wide of the court. High ball set to the left side as Venning had to take two or steps inside to get to that ball and unable to find the sideline. Yeah, they gave him a lot of option to swing on with the ball being so far inside. He had a lot of the sideline to swing at. Usually the block would come more inside and follow him in, but he wasn't able to find a way to hit the sideline. Then set into the net. Service error from the Thunderbirds gives the point back 
to the Gales with Eric Sixna. Back to the line. With a one point lead early on in this fourth set. High toss by Sixna, it's off the tape. And another ace by Eric Sixna. And we're up to double digits, Alex. Tenth ace of the match. And ace of the match. He is just so confident back there right now and able to find that hitting the seam right in between them. Unbelievable serve. And it's six now back once again. Off the tape again, passed up in tight by Pratt. Set to the middle, and what a run to side out by Jesse Umorin. Good pass on receive on the side out, and then serve receive that time by Greaves and then just allows Mason Greaves to see Umorin coming through and cuts hard to position five. Yeah, Umorin second point of the night and a big one. That was an absolute bounce. He detonated that ball. Gingera, back to serve off the tape, passed up by Rabbit. Zimmerman into the middle, Tompkins off of Greaves is able to stay on top of it. And then nothing that Chris Zimmerman can do as the back row setter couldn't go up for the block and Tompkins unable to get there and react in time is just flushed back over by the Thunderbirds. Yeah, it's really tough play as a backhand when you're coming in knowing it's going over and you're either thinking he's going to either have a party ball or block it right down. All you're going to do is stand there and try to just pop it up in the air. That time he wasn't able to do so. Reeves Gingera back to serve now for UBC. Off the arms of Litsis comes in tight. Push back the other way and a heads up play that time by Pratt. Able to see the block set up by Venning and just puts some pace and throws it right back off the block and out of play. Venning came out of nowhere there. A great play, great heads up play by sprinting in all the way from the right side position to try to get up there and block that. But he was able to use it just off Venning's arm and for the score. Gingera back to serve. It's a one point lead now for the Thunderbirds. Off the tape from Reeve Gingera. Zimmerman. To the outside to Leitzis out the back on the attacking error as Leitzis tried to take a bit of pace off. Come down the line. But the Thunderbirds wisely letting that one go. You know, they're just looking to get a better pass out of here so we can have all of his options going right now. The passes have been, so, for this rotation so far, have been mostly towards the attack line, limiting them to the pins. They want to be able to get the Tompkins involved or at least hold that middle stable. And it's well at the back on the serve that time by Gingera. Which will bring Tompkins to the line and Zabjek back into the front row. 9-8. No lead now for UBC. And the Thunderbirds with a two sets to one lead. High toss by Tompkins, goes to get it. Pass up by Greaves is a good one out of the pipe this time. And the swing from Moe's off arms and out of play. A good read out of the pipe that time. Excuse me, that was Connor. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, it's Gavin Moe's. Yeah, it's a great swing. swing out of the great swing out of the pipe. Smart set. He came from behind him, almost a little 61 in behind. And that was a great swing, only one block. Here's Pratt on the serve, passed up by Sixta. Zimmerman to the right side ball to Venning off the block and out of play. Timing set up on the block well by Umorin and Moes, but Venning able to see it. Tools off the hands and it's out of play. Point goes to Queens. And they switch to a line block. He's trying to get all the way out there because Venning's found a way to hit that line pretty consistently lately, so they're switching it up. So he's going to be able to have either a tool off the side or a free swing cross court. Service error by Reed Venning goes into the net. Two point edge restored for the Thunderbirds. They lead 11-9. And it'll be Umorin back to the service line here for UBC. Float serve, passed up by Sixna. Set to the right side out of the C ball as Benning tried to go cross. UBC block stays well away from that one and lets it go out the back. Yeah, Benning saw it earlier by taking it off his hands and he knew he had an uh, ability to swing cross court there, but overcooks it a bit too much. UBC is probably going to look for that matchup again by bringing their block to the line and forcing him to hit it back cross court. Morin. Bit of a missed touch on the serve, but it's effective nonetheless. Gets over, recycled off the swing there by Leitzis. Back to Leitzis on the adjustment there by Sixna. And it's going to go into the antenna. Gale's going to be called on the net. 
or maybe contact off of the hands of Leitzis. He was going, he was, yeah, you're seeing the ball hit the antenna, antenna there. So I think Leitzis was playing with the left hand, trying to catch up to it, and the ref saw it hit the outside pin, and that's why he blew it dead. Taken a timeout now are the Gales, 13-9. Great run in the middle of the set here by UBC to get some separation. It is 13-9 for the Thunderbirds. And sort of a bit of an emotional third set there from the Gales, able to close that out and extend the match here. UBC doing a nice job to maybe try to harness some of that energy, some of that buildup from the crowd, some of that confidence coming on the Queen side. It's been some good back and forth here in the, four, in the fourth set. Both sides playing up to this caliber of playing for a, a national bronze medal. Just a bit of mid-set separation here, a couple points going the way of UBC. Yeah, UBC has just found ways to put pressure on the Gales with Zixna in the backcourt. So when he's in the backcourt, you know, um, they haven't ran much pipe so far. And with their passing, it's been a lot of two passes they saw, and that's when they've gone on runs because it's been mostly uh, Zimmerman only having option to set it to either pin, or sometimes you've seen Rabbit have to step in and take that second ball because the ball's been so far behind the attack line. They got to step up and get some three passes, get more options, have Tompkins or Zabjak available to swing as well to limit UBC's blockers knowing where the ball is going to go. So coming out of the first of two timeouts in this fourth set from the Gales, they trail 13 to nine. And continuing the service run is number nine, Jesse Umorin. Six five, second year from Victoria, British Columbia. Off the tape from Zabjak comes in tight. It's a joust one as Zimmerman just flicks it back to the back row to six and it takes second ball and the attacking error by Leitzis. Didn't quite find hands. And it's now a 14 to nine advantage now for UBC. And Umorin will continue the service run here for the Thunderbirds. Good serve upcoming by Umorin. Pass in tight, it's a good one. On the serve from Umorin. Set out of the pipe this time to Pratt. Is there a touch called there? They're gonna say yes. Down officials calling four. We'll see if they can communicate afterwards. So they'll play out the point, Alex but then we'll see if the down official is able to come back across and talk. But nonetheless, the rally continues on here. Pratt, left side ball, off, it's out of play, and the point's gonna go to Queens anyway on the attacking error on the left side from UBC. Yeah, it's the right call there. They're looking for a touch at the end there, but they got lucky because that was four hits. The down official, as you said, was putting the four signal down right by his leg, trying to help the up official. That's the up official's call. He probably saw a little bit of contact. That's why the rally stayed alive and they let them play. Leitzis, back to serve here now for the Gales. It's a good serve, but the pass is even better. In tight, tipped over on the top of the block. Sixna gets there. Zimmerman, back into the middle to Zabjak. They'll recycle. Zimmerman, back out to Sixna. Off the block. Drops to the open floor. And great timing on the block by the Thunderbirds to close over and take away the hitting lanes of Eric Sixna. Take away the hitting lanes. Two men block on the outside there with Reeves and Vincent. Reeves, as we talked about earlier, is a really good setting blocker. Unbelievable so far we've seen this game. Reeves with the hard float serve. Passed by Rabbit. Zimmerman adjusts and tipped down. And Sixna just seeing again the block scheme. The tight was right along the tape. And Sixna in tight to meet it there. And able just to flush it off the block. And they're back within four. Well, Sixna has gone heavy, 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 heavy. That time he was able to switch to the off speed and found a hole between the block. That'll bring Zabjak back to the service line here now for the Gales. High toss by Isaac Zabjak. It's a good serve with a pass up well by Greaves. Left side ball, Jinjera squeaks it through and just a little bit of indecision there by Zabjak about where he's going to play that ball. He was in a good position, but that last second indecisiveness changed the platform location and just rolls off of Yeah, sometimes when you're back there, especially as a middle, you don't play in the backcourt very often. He thought it was going to become hard, heavy pace, but the block slowed it down and he wasn't able to adjust. 16-11 is the advantage off the tape. Passed up there by Leitzis into the middle to Tompkins off the block. Leitzis gets there. UBC called on the net. Sixteen to twelve. Four point advantage now, and it'll bring Zimmerman back to the service line here for the Gales. It's a deep float serve. Good pass up in tight, set into the middle. Gets contact there on the block by Tompkins. 
Set back to the right side, Gingera. And a great find by Reeve Gingera on the set by Greaves. Yeah, great job by Tompkins staying with Vincent there. Keep the rally alive, but then he was able to flick it right back to Gingera. And Sixta just went just barely by him, looking away, he's taking away the line instead of getting him across and blocking that cross court. 17-12, the advantage here. Has been set with a hard float serve. Good pass though by Rabbit into the middle to Tompkins. It's an attacking error. Dax Tompkins trying to find the sideline. Angles away from the block. But it's going to go out the side. And it's a six point advantage here for UBC. Trying to close out this match in four sets and claim the national bronze medal. Been set. Passed up by Rabbit. Set to the right side, pin to Sixna. Off the block by Gingera and Yu Morin. And they get Sixna on the right side on that rotation. Alex is able to take advantage and find swing off the block and out of play. Yeah, Zimmerman tapped him on the chest before saying, I'm coming to you. And he knew he was getting that ball, was able to find a way to score off the outside hand. Eric Sixna. Talked about his serving prowess here today. Can he extend that? No, into the net this time is 6 and it's 19-13. 19-13, it's going to be a half step. Someone else is going to have to step up from the service line now. Is 6 going to be another six rota rotations before he gets back there? Someone else needs to step up and claw back so they can get into this lead. Reeve Gingera. Back to serve now for UBC. Takes a bit of pace off. Able to get there as Rabbit pushes the left side ball to Leitzis down the sideline and finds it. Back to within five, and now Moffitt will come back in to serve for Tompkins. With a five-point advantage for UBC. And we'll see if it's the service run from Moffitt that can tighten this gap. And if not, UBC Thunderbirds six points away from a bronze medal. Deep float serve. Pass comes in tight. Reeves comes back across off the left-handed swing there by... Pratt, back to Pratt again, this time inside. Off the block again, gets there as Greaves. Mason Greaves, back to Pratt for a third time. Gales on the net, point goes to UBC. Not just the back-to-back -back sets, he's giving it to him three times, saying, you're gonna keep giving us free balls, I'm gonna keep giving it back to you and let you find a way to score. Great job on the outside and great swinging and staying consistent with it. And after, Pratt. And after converting on the third time through on that rally to score the point, from Pratt, he'll now go back to the service line. 20 to 14, the lead in favor of UBC. Into the net, Pratt gives one right back and it's a service error. Gales back within five. And it's Reed Benning, back to the line to serve here now for Queens. Toss by Venning, goes to meet it, into the net. Service error the other way this time by Reed Venning. 21-15, four points to push now for the Thunderbirds. Now they got a big hole, similar to what we saw in that third set. If they're gonna find any way to claw back, it's gonna have to be within siding out every time and then putting in serving pressure. Passed up by Leitzis on the float serve by Umoran out of the pipe to six now, Umoran picks it up. Set to the left side, flush back. As able to find contact up high over top of the block was Gavin Mose. And, and you see the bench there saying, nice dig, middle dig. Doesn't happen very often. The middle comes through, remember Yumura getting a nice scoop and they find a way to score. 22-15 is the advantage for the Thunderbirds. They are up by seven in this third set. Excuse me, this fourth set could be a potential bronze medal clinching opportunity for UBC. The Gales are trying to find a way to dig deep, much like they did in that second set, Alex. It was 24-18 was the juncture where the Gales were able to claw back the other way. But UBC get up 22-15 to 15 here. Trying to find a way to close out. Uh, and again, UBC in this position, they qualified for nationals as the Canada West bronze medalists. Um, and they were able to pull off a win in the quarterfinals here against the McMaster Marauders. They lose their national championship semifinal against the familiar foe, a team they lost the Canada West semifinals to 
in the Alberta Golden Bears who will be playing for golds later on this evening against the Sherbrooke Befeyor. But again, an outstanding season from both of these sides with still some volleyball left to be played as we close out the end of this fourth set. Will it be a three-point push here from the Thunderbirds to clinch the U Sports bronze medal? Or will the Gales dig deep and try to score 10 before three to push this into a fourth? Hugh Morin, back to serve. It's a deep ball, passed up though by Sixna. Zimmerman, sea ball, Reed Benning off the arms and into the stands. And one point on the mountain for the Gales has been chipped out. And they'll go back to the line with Zig Litsis, which brings Sixna into the front row for the Gales. Great set by Zimmerman coming across and a good swing by Venning. And it's now Litsis back to serve at 22-16. Good serve but a better pass on receive. Rabbit able to get hands on it. She's kept alive there by Litsis, sent over by Sixna. Free ball opportunity in transition now off the swing there by Mose, picked up by Venning. Can they get Sixna involved on the left side? They will off the block. 22-17. And maybe we'll see one more rally, or is it going to be a timeout taken here now by Mike Hawkins? I think he'll wait one more time. He thinks he can believes in this team and this rotation. It's a tough one because they got a front court hands, two options mostly on the outside. Let's see if Vincent gets the ball here to try to finish it again. And it's out the back on the service error that time by Leitzis. Heading back to the line now is Greaves to see if he can put some pressure on. Greaves to the line here now. At 23-17, float serve, passed up by Sixna. To the outside to Sixna again, off the block, but it clips the inside. Drops to the open floor, and it's match point for the Thunderbirds. Able to get a high block set up on the first team All-Canadian. Flex back to the open floor and back-to-back -back points now for the Thunderbirds. And a handful of opportunities for UBC to close out and claim the National Bronze. Passed up by Sixna. Set back to the left side to Eric Sixna off the block again. And the UBC Thunderbirds are the 2024 U Sports Bronze Medalists. They close out the fourth set 25-18. And a great season comes to an end for the Queens Gales. Season comes to an end for the Thunderbirds as well. But they'll be leaving with a little bit of hardware as the national bronze medalists. Yeah, the game ends just as it started on Vincent's blocking. He had two back-to-back -back at the very beginning and two back-to-back -back at the very end of the match. Very impressive win by the Thunderbirds. They were very efficient all night. The one thing that they gave them trouble was, was service errors. But everything else was very flawless from their side, attacking a lot of different options kept in the game the whole time. Greaves was having a masterful performance. Um, great job by both sides as we see the Gales fans are being uh, saluting their team who had a great season but end up with a fourth place at the national championships. An outstanding season by the Queens Gales. They come into this national championship as the OUA silver medalists and they pull off a huge win in the quarterfinal against the Trinity Western Spartans and have a national championship here on home court. As you see some embraces by the Gales, especially with some of their graduating players. As it looks as though this is the end of the road for the Queens Gales for Eric Sixna and Lex and Rabbit. And a 25 point performance here in a national bronze medal match for Eric Sixna. And again, an outstanding run by the first team all Canadian and by this Gales team the entire season as Chris Zimmerman and the rest of the Gales come across to shake hands with the UBC Thunderbirds, who again, Alex, an outstanding season from them as the Canada West Bronze medalists. A ton of first, second, and third year players on that UBC roster. This is a team that'll certainly be in the mix for a national medal for the next couple of years as well. Built such a great program out in Vancouver, and will certainly, as we said, be likely back in this conversation and on this same stage perhaps playing for a different color next year. Yeah, this is a great team all around. Um, a great, well-balanced offense. They have a bit of everything. They run the ball around. Greaves is one of the best setters in the country. 
and you saw it there, some of the double repeat three sets, um, finding a way to get the middle involved early and then spreading it to the outside pins. Um, they're just a well-balanced team overall and um, very impressed on how well-balanced they are for how young they are. Typically, you usually see a team like this that that's well-balanced, having so many versatile options be more upperclassmen, those fourth and fifth-year teams, fifth-year players. But at this stage, you know, most guys being in second and third year and them being at this stage already, it's almost like that Sherbrooke team where the Sherbrooke, you know, was able to battle for a bronze two years ago and went for and won a silver medal last year with a young team, have pretty much the full team back, and they're going for gold tonight. And we'll stay on for the players of the game as well as the presentation of the U Sports bronze medal and Eric Sixna with an unbelievable performance here in his final game for the Queen's Gales. Wins player of the match for the second time in the tournament, Alex, looking up on the board. Team 25 total points for, again, the first team All-Canadian, one of the best players in the country. He was a, a finalist for the U Sports Player of the Year Award, was the OUA Player of the Year, and now getting recognition for the UBC Thunderbirds. And Reeve Jinjera, Alex, on the other side, absolutely spectacular for the UBC Thunderbirds. And has 14 total points in the afternoon for Reeve Jinjera. And looking at 17 kills, though, and an outstanding effort by the opposite for the UBC Thunderbirds, a huge reason why they're leaving this U Sports Men's Volleyball Championships as the bronze medalists. And as we mentioned, we will see and stay on for the player of the game interview with Reeve Jinjera, but also the presentation of the U Sports bronze medals to the UBC Thunderbirds. Yeah, as we talked about a bit before the game, right, the tail of the tape was Jinjera versus Sixna, two of the best players in the country, and they both were awarded with players of the game because they both showed up at a high level in, one of the, in their last game this year. Unbelievable match from both those two players, and now we get to watch you know, the UBC Thunderbirds accept their bronze medals. So a, a great matchup here for the U Sports men's volleyball bronze medal that goes the way of the UBC Thunderbirds. The Queen's Gales will finish in fourth in what was again an outstanding season for both of these teams. The U Sports gold medal match, the championship will take place later on this evening. First serve is slated for seven o'clock p.m. We'll see if any of that changes depending on the warm up and when the ceremony for the bronze medal completes here, but it'll face off the top two teams in the tournament, Alex, the Canada West champions, the Alberta Golden Bears, the two seed. They come into the tournament losing their first set of the tournament to the Laval Rouge Or, and they haven't lost a set since. They've gone six in a row to take down Laval, and then they take down these UBC Thunderbirds in the semifinal. On the other side, the Sherbrooke Bechayor haven't lost a game all season. The RSEQ champions, they come into the national championship with a first as the top seed, win their quarterfinal in straight sets against the Guelph Griffins. A little bit of a scare in the opening set, but then again, they have gone six sets in a row, six up, six down here for Sherbrooke, and they will take on, again, the Alberta Golden Bears in what should be an outstanding championship match. And you mentioned Sherbrooke, bronze two years ago, silver last year. Are they in a position to potentially improve that mark once again and leave as the 2024 U Sports champions? Yeah, they've played unbelievable so far. Uh, Sherbrooke has, um, you know, coming into this tournament, um, they went a couple five-set battles with Laval. Some people might have thought they battled with Laval, went to five. Are they coming out in full cylinders after kind of running the table going all year? And they showed up to this tournament, haven't dropped a set yet. They've played unbelievable. And the thing that... Uh, amazes me with their play is how consistent they are. They don't go get too high, get too low. They're very even keeled and they limit their errors. They don't make many errors and they force the other team to make more errors. It's going to be an interesting battle to see the player of the year on Alberta coming up against this Sherbrooke Barre or defense and finding ways to see if he can find more gaps or if the defense on Sherbrooke's side is going to be scrappy enough to limit them. The UBC Thunderbirds take the U Sports bronze medal. Queens Gales finish in fourth. Join us for the championship gold medal match between the Sherbrooke Bechior and the Alberta Golden Bears. First serve for 7 p.m. For Alex Elliott and our entire crew, you've been watching the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball Championships presented by Macasa on CBC Sports.
News Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats du Sport à Radio-Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fettner. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Veraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Bearing, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des packs des championnats U Sport. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile menton du volleyball, le V200W, ballon officiel de U-Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V200W, official volleyball of U-Sports.